Holocaust if they ever truly wanted to, quickly noting that the Holocaust was an atrocity that should never be repeated, no matter how easy it would be to do so. Almost all members of the German parliament discreetly conceded that with their country's dominance of Eurozone GDP, pulling off the unthinkable genocide would not be the least bit difficult. I'm just saying, hypothetically, that we very easily could do it. I mean, we definitely have the infrastructure, and the concentration camps are still standing. In other news, a so-called Christian has an erection. A new study finds more children are growing up in single-parent households, and a real-life Nancy Drew traces the source of her HPV. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Of course, you can bring up anything you want. Just dial toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. You can Skype on in at username lrn.fm. I'm hoping we're going to get an international Skype phone call here in a little bit. Uh, I don't want to tease it too much, so I'm going to wait and see what happens there. We're going to open the show tonight, by the way, in the studio this evening. It's Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. Open the show up with uh, the story I've been teasing for a couple of nights here tonight. We just haven't had a chance to get to it. From Mark Emery, a voice that has not been heard on these airwaves for approximately five years Mark is more popularly known as the Prince of Pot. He's the creator of Cannabis Culture magazine, which for many years was the main competitor to High Times, Cannabis Culture originating from Canada and High Times from the United States. Cannabis Culture stopped printing uh, their magazine a few years ago, but they're continuing online and they seem to be doing well. Anyway, Mark Emery was uh, the, the publisher of Cannabis Culture and also a seed salesman. He sold many, many seeds, countless seeds, I'm sure, online uh, to people all around the world to help them grow various different strains of cannabis. And the U.S. DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, decided that Mark Emery was one of their most wanted men in the entire world and they came after him but he was in canada so how could they get him into the united states well apparently the canadian government people were willing to work with the united states government to assist them in capturing this horrible seed salesman and placing him in u.s custody for a trial where he was found guilty and sentenced to five years in federal prison that's where he's been we uh, exchanged a, a few emails with him at the very beginning uh, through the Federal Core Links email system, which is a very, very expensive way to actually send someone an email in really? federal prison. H how much Why does that it? cost? It's expensive. I don't remember what it is off. Why uh, do you mean it's expensive? Offhand. What do you mean it's expensive? Well, you normally don't have to pay anything to send somebody right. an email. But in this case, you have to pay. I don't know if it's by the word or I forget. What? what? I forget. I'm sorry. It's been a while since yeah, I've talked that's with, outrageous. with Mark on that system. Uh, well, I just used it uh, this week and it didn't cost anything. So it wasn't by the word? Okay. That was my experience. Well, it doesn't cost you anything, but I believe the prisoner has to, uh, to pay hmm. to send and receive emails. I guess I should be brief then. I, I'm not sure. I, look, I'm not sure if it's by the word, but it, when I remember when I was looking at, well, what does it cost uh, to send one of these emails or to receive and send them as a prisoner? And it, it didn't seem real cheap, but that's how they do it in prison. You know, If you're making a phone call, they jack you on the phone rates. If you're sending an email, they jack you on the, uh, the emails. So I haven't actually heard from Mark in, uh, in a long time, but we have had his wife Jody on the show in the meantime while he's been in prison to kind of give us periodic updates on how things have been going. And as you might imagine, it can be somewhat difficult to not only have someone in prison who you love, but to have them in a federal prison half a world away or you know, a quarter of a world away because she lives in the Vancouver area and they've been having him in various different detention facilities. So here's his so blog. Hmm? Uh, well, I just was Googling, and I, I don't know how reliable this is. This is like uh, a forum, and I'm seeing here varying responses, but apparently CoreLinks charges by the minute to use uh, the computer systems. Right. And That's so it's it just to use the computers. And so I guess it's $2 for 40 minutes, and then somebody else is saying it's a nickel per minute. Um, so I'm not really sure exactly. Uh, At least you can get access to email in federal prison. You can't do that in uh, the local jail here. Yeah. I mean, these quotes are really old. They're from 2011, and it, it, it seems like the most are saying five cents a minute. 
So uh, I guess it could be worse. Anyway, here's his blog post from CannabisCulture.com, which we'll link to on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. So you can help him out because he's going to need it, as he'll explain. This is my last blog from the terminals of the U.S. Bureau of Prisons. My sentence was for five years, 1,825 days. And I earned all 235 days of my eligible good conduct credit. So my sentence officially ends at 1,590 days, which is Wednesday, July 9th. On Thursday, July 10th, U.S. Immigration picks me up and takes me to the private, for-profit geo group LaSalle Detention Facility in Gina, Louisiana, where I will be processed for deportation back to Canada. So again, his sentence ends in less than a week. Where is he? Um, I'm not real clear on, on that. Well, the last time I heard he was in Seattle. No, I don't think they moved. Um, I'm not sure. Because only, the, might only the United States federal government would be so inefficient as to move somebody from Seattle to Louisiana I know to, he to was Vancouver. in the southeast at one point. So now he's going to be moved back to Gina, Louisiana after he's released. It's not like he just gets to get out. No, this begins a new journey. So he'll be processed for deportation back to Canada. He says, my understanding is that I'll be dropped off ultimately at the border in Windsor, Ontario. I'm thinking sometime between August 10th and August 25th, but we have no way of knowing for sure. You'd think that would be a straightforward process, taking a few days at most, but LaSalle is a for-profit geo-group detention center, and thus they are making money for every day that I'm there. And because the Canadian federal government is involved, these bureaucrats have a tendency to be slower than they ought to be. So I may need your help in providing motivation for them to repatriate me back to Canada on a more reasonable and timely schedule. I mean, they're talking about it taking over a month for him just to be deported from the United States. I'm sure if they simply called Jody, she would uh, scrape the money together for a plane ticket and uh, come there and get, get yeah, him. Yeah, I'm sure. When former Canadian uh, Conrad Black got out of the Coleman Federal Prison in Florida last year, he was driven straight to Miami and able to go immediately to Toronto on a flight with his wife Barbara Emil. That was extraordinarily not the that was extraordinary, not the least of which is because Conrad Black is not even a Canadian citizen anymore, and it has never happened to any other Canadian in a U.S. prison. No doubt his friendship with former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney and others got him an instant express immigration approval back to Canada, but it shows a clear unfairness that a man who renounced his Canadian citizen citizenship so that he could be a lord in the British House of Commons gets treatment far beyond what any actual Canadian citizen like myself currently receives from the Canadian government. I get the no connections in high places, long, drawn-out, delayed route to an unceremonious drop-off in Windsor, Ontario at that, not even to my home in Vancouver. No cushy flight for me back to the airport of my choice alongside my wife, like Conrad. To the, uh, My point being, if they could get non-Canadian Conrad's paperwork ready in advance to get to Toronto immediately upon his U.S. federal prison release, they could have mine ready too. Last I checked, I am still a Canadian citizen. At any rate, once I arrive at LaSalle in Louisiana, I'll be given an alien number, and Jody will update this blog to indicate what my A number is. When you see my A number in this blog, I've been told that you can actually send me messages over the phone, uh, and then he gives a phone number that you might actually be able to use to do that. The receptionist will deliver written messages to me three times a day. I have unlimited phone usage there, but no they email. They have receptionists? <laughs> uh, I think that's maybe a uh, cannabis culture. He says, I have unlimited uh, phone usage there, but no email like I've had with the Federal Bureau of Prisons Core Links program. I buy phone cards and can call out with limits on phone time. It's not quite a prison, and I will be done with my official U.S. prison sentence, but I can't leave until they take me. So it's a purgatory of sorts. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what INS is like. They don't use the term INS anymore, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I was in prison, that's what they called it, and it was a... Uh, it was dreadful. Did and they have some guys from INS in your prison? No, the they had guys that were going to I INS. See. And potentially, some of these guys, like Cubans, for instance, they can't be deported to Cuba. Mm -hmm. But if their crimes are bad enough, they don't. the United States government doesn't, or the state government doesn't want them released. So they'll sit in this purgatory for years. Oh, my goodness. He says, when I get my A number, I'm also assigned my deportation officer. I'll fill out my temporary passport information, have my photo taken, and I'll fill out my forms, and my deportation officer fills in his part and forwards it to the Canadian consul in Dallas, Texas, a fellow by the name of David Martinez. Once I'm at LaSalle, Jody will post that phone number here. 
all of the communications between LaSalle and the Canadian consul in Dallas is done electronically, so ought to be done quickly, that is, within days. But I'm certain that perfidious actors in Ottawa could choose to be deliberately slow, lazy, or obstructive simply because it's me, and the Harper government is hardly eager to have me back in Canada. Because, by the way, for those that don't know who uh, this gentleman is, Besides the fact that he sold uh, marijuana seeds for many years on the internet and became relatively well known for his cannabis activism, he also went around and like toked on a bong in various different uh, cities and you know did this uh, disobedi- civil disobedience was arrested. There'd be smokeouts times. all over Canada in order yeah. to uh, see the decriminalization of marijuana. Right, this guy. And like, let's point out that marijuana has become legal in two states in the United States, and basically it's legal in California too. In the amount of time that this guy uh, was in prison. Now, yeah. not California. But. We'll, we'll come back with more of Mark's uh, final prison blog post here. What's it like getting out of federal prison as an immigrant? Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. 
Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid, we do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up whatever you want. All you have to do is dial toll-free... At 855-450 free, we're sharing with you the final blog post from Mark Emery. If you've been missing them, you can always go back in time at CannabisCulture.com to see what he's been saying from behind bars as he's been there for a good portion of five years. The federal good time rules are not very good. You don't get you don't get much time off for uh, for being a good boy in federal prison. I think you got to do 85 percent of your time there. Yeah, so he's been in for quite a while for the dastardly crime of selling seeds on the internet. And uh, we'll continue his story here in moments. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Yeah, speaking of Canada, ExpressCoin is now available in Canada. Oh, so cool. Yep, just go to expresscoin.com and uh, for the Canadian folks, and they've got the instructions right there. You can actually buy Bitcoins, Dogecoin, and now Litecoin, Blackcoin, and Darkcoin. Someone was talking to me about Darkcoin today saying they were very excited about it. Actually, it was James Cleveland, who we had on the show last night. Um, he's he's getting into it. He says he's going to start mining dark coin. But you can buy it, because it's a lot easier to buy it than to mine it. Go to expresscoin.com, and you can hook up with uh, money order, check, or wire transfer. Now also cash via deposit at uh, shared branching uh, branches of credit unions. So not all credit unions are shared branching, so yours would have to be shared branching or well, and or it doesn't you can have just to be walk yours. in. That's right. true. It just has to be a credit union to which you go to purchase uh, you know the bitcoins, you give them the cash dogecoins, into a de- the deposit account. Yeah, and yeah. um you just have to have one in your town. I would recommend you call them ahead and say, "Hey, do you have shared branching? That's all you got to do. But yep. there's a good chance that you've got a credit union in your town that has shared branching. Darn and good chance. You don't chance. need an account there. Expresscoin.com can help you out. Go and get started there. You can also grab their smartphone app, ex- expresscoin.com. Back to Cannabis Culture Magazine, CannabisCulture.com. The publisher has been in jail for a number of years. And the reason why he was targeted by the U.S. DEA and I'm sure he would say this because we've had Mark on enough times. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what he would say to this. Uh, the reason he was targeted is because he was a marijuana activist. He wasn't just selling seeds, which yep. I think, mind you, is its own form of activism. But there but, were people that were selling seeds like him, and they didn't go after they, them. Not like them. Because what was, di- or, uh, what was different with Mark is that he was an advocate for marijuana legalization. Yep. In the United States, he got behind the Ron Paul campaign. I remember there was a big spread that Cannabis Culture magazine had, I think it was back in 2008 with the Ron Paul campaign, where the Cannabis Culture endorsed Ron Paul. And, you know, this is a Canadian magazine, widely read in the United States. And so the U.S. federal government, the DEA, they didn't like that this guy was using the profits he was making from selling seeds and selling cannabis culture sending those profits to organizations like the National Organization for Reform of Marijuana Laws or uh, the Ron Paul campaign, various different things. Uh, He was also helping fund some of the ballot measures that were getting cannabis, either medicinal status or decriminalization all across the United States. So this guy was putting his money where his mouth was, and that's what put him on the radar of the federal government. They targeted him, and they took him out. It took him out for a good five years, and kudos to his uh, his lovely wife Jody to for staying by his side. I mean, it's it cannot be an easy thing to have your loved one inside a prison cell. I haven't experienced it personally, but I've been on the other side of it, where someone with whom I was in a relationship at the time had to experience me going to jail, and it was a very very hard thing. It was very difficult, more difficult than I thought that it would be upon that person. So it's got to be really tough. Anyway, we're continuing his story. So what's going to happen? Well, he's going to be released by the Federal Prison Bureau on the 9th, then immediately picked up by uh, the uh, the immigration department, basically, and taken to processing, which may take more than a month 
for him to be processed out of the United States and back into Canada. It requires interactions between different bureaucracies in different political jurisdictions. And apparently those things can take time. But as he's pointed out, there's some other cat who used to be from Canada and who apparently renounced his Canadian citizenship. To who be was a lord in the House of Commons. The British House of Commons. Which, by the way, isn't there a House of Lords? And why wouldn't wouldn't one be a commoner to be in the House of Commons and a lord to be in the House of Lords? Yeah. I'm a little confused if about that. If you know, that. you can call us uh, from across the pond via Skype on username lrn.fm to fill us in. But uh, continuing his story here, so he's going to be given an A number, an alien number, apparently, and he says that at some point he'll be transferred back to Canada, but he feels like the government there is going to you know, drag their feet. He says, this is where my supporters can influence events. Should this procedure get unduly tardy, I may need all of you to call one of these three locations for several hours a day, urging an end to any questionable delays if they should happen. But we will see. Just be ready to help if you're so inclined. Once the government paperwork is completed and my temporary passport is done, the INS people at LaSalle, that's in Louisiana, merely need to book my flight and then take me to Alexandria, Louisiana, and fly me to Detroit, Michigan, and then escort me over the border point into Windsor, Ontario. However, many U.S. imprisoned Canadians have waited weeks for their flights to be booked because the prisons make more money the longer we're there. But then again, let's be optimistic and hope that a big campaign to urge my speedy return will prove to be unnecessary. At this facility, we don't get outside much, but I can buy items from the commissary daily. I can't take anything with me from Yezu to LaSalle, but I will... So there you go. That's where he is, Mark. Yezu, if you want to look that up. Y-A-Z-O-O. -O. Uh, but I'll get a brief... Isn't that the name of a band from the 80s? I don't know, but it's apparently also a prison. I'll get a brief subscription to the New York Times while I'm there, which I hope is four to six weeks at the most. My mailing address for letters will be posted at CannabisCulture.com after July 10th. I'll need money immediately, and that can only be done with U.S. credit cards based on my previous experience in a private prison. If you want to send me anything to help me get comfortable upon arrival and during my hopefully short stay, you can use your credit card to send me 20 or 30 bucks and help me pay for my phone calls. I will call you to thank you and buy food and clothes. So uh, he gives out some more phone numbers, and we'll give you the link to this article on uh, our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. So yeah, he, Zoo's in, uh, in Mississippi. So there you go. He's nowhere near uh, Vancouver. <laughs> it's right closer now. at this point to, uh, to LaSalle. So there you go. When I'm finally to be placed on a plane in Alexandria and flown to Detroit, I'll be met by two U.S. Marshals and then driven through the tunnel to the Windsor, Ontario, Canadian Customs and Immigration Office. I hope I'll have enough advance notice to call Jody and have her fly standby to Toronto to Vancouver and then get to Windsor to be there waiting for me. And if you live in the Windsor area, I hope to see you there. Also, we'll have an impromptu gathering somewhere after my arrival, and within 12 hours, I'll take a train or trans transport of some sort to Toronto, where we'll have another party at Vapor Central. I'll give a talk on the following evening there as well. Other venues for meeting people will surely be planned and announced, but everything will be done short notice, so stay tuned for news alerts. He says, I haven't had a cell phone since a judge barred me from having one as part of my bizarre jail conditions, or bail conditions rather, in August of 2005. So for the past nine years, I have not owned a phone and never had a smartphone. I've never texted in my life. It's all <laughs> going to require some adjustment. I don't even have a currently valid email address anymore, and this CoreLinks account I use now will expire when my sentence ends on July 9th. Exciting changes are ahead. I want to close this final prison blog with a sincere thank you to our supporters who helped in so many ways during these long years of my incarceration. Jody and I appreciate everything you've done for both of us and the movement at large in my absence. I can't wait to get home to thank you all in person the weeks and months ahead and resume the unfinished battle to finish off marijuana prohibition with renewed vigor. Oh, it sounds like they didn't correct him after all. He's been in a uh, federal <laughs> prison system. For, Still mistaken. Yeah, for uh, five years of his life. He says, I hope you'll be there with me. So, Mark, we uh, we look forward to having him back on the show to uh, say hello again to the listening audience once he gets out and gets settled back in. And we'll keep you up to date here as things develop on Free Talk Live. You can call in about anything. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. 
A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Don't worry about things you can't control. Isn't that what they always say? But it's about impossible to avoid worrying about what's going on these days. The government has used the war on guns, the war on drugs, and the war on terrorism to tear our Bill of Rights to shreds. But you can fight back. The Tenth Amendment Center has proven it, racking up major victories. For example, when the U.S. government claimed authority in the NDAA to have the military kidnap and detain Americans without trial, the nullifiers got a law passed in California, declaring the state's refusal to ever participate in any such thing. Their latest project is offnow.org, nullifying the National Security Agency. They've already gotten model legislation introduced in California, Arizona, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas, meant to limit the power of the NSA to spy on Americans in those states. We'd be fools to wait around for the U.S. Congress or courts to roll back Big Brother. Our best chance is nullification and interposition on the state level. Go to offnow.org, print out that model legislation, and get to work nullifying the NSA. The hero Edward Snowden has risked everything to give us this chance. Let's take it. Offnow.org. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We're inviting you to take control of the airwaves here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, Johnson will give us the latest on the supposed right to be forgotten that exists in Europe for people who want to have Google eliminate search results. Um, we talked about that a few weeks ago when the court decision was made over in uh, the EU, and Johnson has the latest. We'll get to that story. Your call is certainly welcome. Uh, 855-450-FREE. And if you want to get a free pound of coffee, check out coffee.freetalklive.com. Mark, you are a daily BuzzBox coffee consumer. Yeah, right? an entire pot of decaf coffee, yes. Now you do the decaf thing, but there's plenty of caffeinated versions available Indeed. Uh, over at uh, coffee.freetalklive.com. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. This is great coffee, but there's some other good coffee in the world. What makes Buzz, BuzzBox different, Mark? What makes them special? Well, what I'd say what makes them special is their uh, concern for not only their 
employees, um, like it's not really employees, the people from whom they purchase coffee, mm -hmm. because they have this program that gets uh, sort of families into their, their coffee growing co-op um, and their commitment to sustain sustainably grown, shade grown coffee. But they allow organizations like Free Talk Live to uh, give out micro loans for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. We're able to give another micro loan to another family around the world that's able to get something completely unrelated to coffee to make their lives better, whether it's, um, you know, start a business and, you know, whether it's get a bicycle or, you know, a plow or a sewing machine or whatever it is they need to do whatever it is they want to do. They're able to get it. And I think that this is really what makes a difference because people, you're only going to work on what you're passionate about. And if they have an idea that they want to, you know, make a little sandwich shop, well, they need a little loan to make that happen. And then they're going to make a better life for themselves. You can help that happen by going and getting your coffee and get a free pound to try it out at coffee.freetalklive.com. You only need to pay the shipping cost for that free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. So in, uh, in some interesting gaming-related news, Johnny Ray, of course, does our Game of the Week on Tuesdays. But, Johnson, you're a bit of a gamer mm -hmm. yourself. And uh, Hearthstone is a game that uh, Johnny Ray had been talking about in the past here on Free Talk Live. He seemed to really enjoy it. It was kind of like a strategy card game, if I'm uh, recalling correctly. I don't know if you're familiar with it I am not all. really familiar with this game. Uh, Johnson, it's, uh, it's, I guess it's related to Warcraft yeah, or I think something so. like that. I'm not much of an RPG player, and, and uh, I think this is, I don't know if this is related to it being is a, a, a fast-paced strategy card game from hmm. Blizzard Entertainment, Hearthstone. Anyway, apparently there's going to be a tournament, and there's some rules for this tournament that are controversial. Story from PCGamer.com. A user on Reddit's Hearthstone community yesterday shared an image from an announcement page for a Hearthstone qualifier taking place during Finland's Assembly Summer 2014. What made the post notable was a single highlighted sentence. Quote, the participation is open only to Finnish male players. Unquote. That is, to state the obvious, a strange what? requirement for a Hearthstone tournament, and it makes the qualifiers' organizers, the Finnish eSports Federation, seem like childish boys in a treehouse, hanging a No Girls Allowed sign on their front door. Okay. Only the qualifier is for the LESF -E World Championship, and it's this global event that has stipulated the all-male lineup. Your information is indeed correct. The tournament is open to Finnish male players only, said Marcus uh, Koskervirta, head admin of the Assembly Summer 2014 Hearthstone Qualifier. In a statement to PC Gamer, he continued, saying, quote, In accordance with the International Esports Federation's tournament regulations, since the main tournament event is open to male players only, or rather, the male player... Uh, the main tournament is open to male players only. This is to avoid possible conflicts, e.g. a female player eliminating a male player during R08, among other things. Koskoverta's argument is uh, is that by allowing women into their qualifier, there's a risk that the winner, the winner wouldn't be eligible to enter the World Championship final. The International Esports Federation is a global organization based in South Korea that is comprised of esports associations from across the world. Did you know about any of this? I no. have no clue. <laughs> so uh, around the world, there are competitive gaming. That uh, much I knew. That that goes on. So apparently there's also an eSports federation. There's, I kind of knew that. Their stated aim is to promote eSports as a true sport. That's in quotes. The LESF 6th World Championship will take place this November in Baku, Azerbaijan. 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 Um, so I'm a little curious. Okay, so you want your video game tournament to be considered a real sport, mm -hmm. but why then does what what does that have to do with letting the gals play video games? Well, they are allowing the gals to play some video games. There's just a different some lineup. Games, the tournament like list from the sort. Only the cute ones that you smash boxes with hammers. I mean, but none of the first-person shooters. Is the, that what I'm getting here? Here's the tournament list from the organization. Their boys can't handle getting fragged, getting pwned. Facebook event page. <laughs> the male competition will include these games. DOTA 2, StarCraft 2, Hearthstone, Ultra Street Fighter 4. 
while the female competition will only feature two games. So four games for the males, two for the females. <laughs> females will be allowed to play StarCraft II, which is also the male game, and then Tekken Tag Tournament 2. It's an absurd division, says the article at PC Gamer. Seemingly, it tells us that Ultra Street Fighter 4 is for boys and Tekken Tag Tournament is for girls, that women aren't meant to play DOTA 2 or Hearthstone, and that while both men and women can play StarCraft 2, they damn well better not do it together. Of course, that's not what Lesef are saying. Their reasoning is far more insidious than that. In a reply to Facebook, uh, a Facebook comment asking why men and women had been divided, the organization responded, and for whatever reason they're called LESF, or L-E-S-F, uh, this world championship group, they responded with the following quote, The decision to divide male and female competitions was made in accordance with international sports authorities as part of our effort to promote esports as a legitimate sports. So because tennis and basketball, some, basketball and some of some sports, football. physical more physical sports are mm -hmm. divided between men and women, therefore video games should be divided between men and women. That appears to be the argument of this organization. You know, I'm thinking about this and I, I get the point that they're trying to make, but let's not forget that we're just talking about little plastic controllers that you move with your <laughs> yes. thumbs. So I, I, I'm of the opinion that boys and girls are e on equal ground when it comes to moving little joysticks with their thumbs and pushing buttons with their forefingers. I, I tend to be of that opinion as well. I And that somebody who's running a gaming institute of any sort doesn't agree with that is pretty outrageous. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the Olympic sport that is, uh, you know, as... Equally unathletic, I, I, I guess. You know, I, I guess athleticism isn't really the right term. Athleticism kind of denotes not just strength, but also hand-eye coordination. Would, does I mean, it? I don't know. I'm I think not a it does. Guy. So I'm a relatively strong man, but you don't want me on your baseball team. Okay. You know, I I, I look like you can't I can't swing and hit a hit a ball coming. At I you look very well. like I can play sports. Uh, okay. or it, it definitely <laughs> did when I was younger. So you never got picked last for the teams uh, when I was younger. Or did when you? I was little, when I, and I didn't have any musculature. Yes, yeah. I definitely did get picked last okay. for teams, and for very good reason. I just don't have the coordination um, yeah, that sucked. it takes. I was always getting last pick. And you know, I was uh, I was listening to an Adam Carolla podcast, and he was talking about the what's who's what's the big guy from the Green Mile. Uh, Ving Rames. No, there's another guy. In it was somebody game. else. Um, I think no, there's three it, names. Wasn't Ving Rames in, in the Green Mile? He may have been sure in it, was. but he wasn't the big guy. He wasn't the main black uh, guy from... Yeah, I can't remember his name, but he has three names. Yeah. And he was playing, for whatever reason, sort of a celebrity softball um, tournament with him. Mm -hmm. and, and he was kind of, uh, you know, just amused by the idea that here, here's a guy that looks like he could crack the ball out of the ballpark. Ooh. But in fact, you know, I mean, it's... It's the rare individual. This is why we have professional sports. It's the rare individual that can combine both, uh, you know, a physique and athleticism or the the hand eye coordination I'm together. I'm totally self loathing right now because I I hate when people do that thing where they confuse the black actors. <laughs> yes. I really do. I really hate when, and I confused. You just did it. Yeah, I do. I really did. It's you, Michael you Clark. You confuse the guy from um, Pulp Fiction. The the. Yes, Vic Gangs was in Pulp yep. Fiction. The gangster, yeah. the head gangster yep. guy from Pulp Fiction with you. Yeah. The the actor name we were looking for is Michael, Michael Clark, Clark Duncan. Duncan. Yeah, that's his name. And I knew he was it playing the character named John Coffey. Yeah, and I thought he did a fantastic job it's at it. Movie. But uh, I mean, uh, the, I guess the point I'm trying to make is is that uh, you know that people aren't necess necessarily who are big and strong aren't necessarily okay, have uh, hand eye coordination. Okay, so does anybody but actually <laughs> believe that uh, there's a difference between male and female video game players as this sports society? Association is alleging. Yes, Bows. There's a lot of confusing information out there about Bitcoin mining. Customers have been burned by companies taking their money on pre orders for Bitcoin mining equipment only to receive their equipment late and miss out on opportunities to mine Bitcoins. But that doesn't mean Bitcoin mining is impossible. You just have to find an honest company to do business with. If you want to mine Bitcoins and you want to do it now, no pre orders, no waiting. Look into the Ant Miner products from Bitmain. Their competitively priced Ant Miners are in stock and ship from the U.S. as soon as you pay. You could buy an Ant Miner today and be mining Bitcoins tomorrow. The Ant Miner line offers the best mining power per dollar currently available. 20% of the mining power in the Bitcoin network is contributed by Ant Miners. Not only that, but Bitmain is committed to support. You can get tech support and warranty service over the phone by calling 844-BITMAIN. 
For commercial accounts, they'll even travel to your data center to install your equipment. Get all the details at bitmaintech.com. That's bitmaintech.com. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world, so I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about what you want. Just dial toll-free, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Plus, join us online over at freetalklive.com. Perhaps you need focus. You're feeling fatigued. You're trying to get that extra edge when it counts. There's a lot going on in our lives these days, and it can be easy to get overwhelmed and become tired. Don't you wish there was something that could get you out of the rut, give you the focus you need, and help you get things done? Well, there might be. Look into Modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall, so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about Modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge that they need. Check out modup.net and look into it for yourself. They've got fast delivery worldwide for guaranteed high-quality Modafinil at an amazing price. Modup.net is also a supporter of the Bitcoin community. You order from modup.net with your Bitcoin and you'll get a 33% discount. Plus, to make the deal even better... 
Use code FTL, like Free Talk Live, and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order at modup.net, M-O-D-U-P dot net. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. So look into it for yourself at modup.net. It's great service at a great price, and use code FTL at modup.net. We uh, continue here with the story from PCGamer.com about video game tournaments. Uh, and this particular tournament is put on by the International Esports Federation. I was calling them LESEF. Uh, that's because of the I. The capital I didn't have a uh, serif on it, so it I looked see. like an L. It's actually I-E-S-F, and they do the little case E on that. So the Inter- International Esports Federation, they are having a competition, the sixth world championship where males and females would be separated. And they're giving some pretty ridiculous reasons for this, claiming they want to be seen as a legitimate sport by sports authorities, uh, I guess, around the world. And so they believe that uh, by separating people by gender, that that will somehow help them achieve legitimacy. You know, I I have a small amount of sympathy for them in this uh, realm because I, I can see that most sports are uh, sort of split out in this way, but... I, I don't know whether, you know, I mean, I guess I just don't consider this a sport. I guess I consider it a game. Or, I, admittedly, it is somewhere between a sport and a game. Is chess a sport? No, not to what me. What defines a sport? I think you have to have a combination, um, to me, a combination of strength and athleticism to make a sport. And athleticism, by that I mean hand-eye coordination. Now, I might be convinced that you don't really need the strength or that the strength only needs to be as much to uh, to push a little uh, joystick back and forth with your thumb. Mm-hmm. But you know, this ESPN is, used to run Magic the Gathering tournaments. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I mean, just because <laughs> History Channel does things on aliens. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, the definition of sport, according to dictionary.com, ah. is an athletic activity requiring skill or physical prowess and often of a competitive nature. Such as racing, baseball, tennis, golf, bowling, wrestling, boxing, hunting, fishing, etc. So, yeah, typically having some sort of physical prowess that is likely going to be more than simply hand manipulating a, a controller. I, yeah, like, I guess hunting is probably the single best, um, you know, uh, shooting shooting a gun. So in the Olympics, they have at least the biathlon. I don't know if they just have, uh, you know, shooting the shooting of guns. All you really need to do is hold a rifle, pull the trigger. And, and actually, women have an advantage here because they are generally have a lower center of gravity. So mm. they're less likely to kind of wobble. Mm. Um, that's what I was told, at least when I was young. But I is that a sport? Up. Is it a sport to just pull a trigger? It's in the Olympics. Let's go to Matt in Wyoming. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Matt. Yeah, I just um, thought I'd bridge the gap between video games and real life. All right, sure. Yeah, and the other day I heard you on uh, Michael W. Dean's show. Oh, great. And, uh, yeah, Ian, Ian was um, in good form, good form. And um, you had maybe taken a substance. So I was going to tell people, like, here's, here's, here's a fun thing to do that's like a real-life video game. Is uh, One time we had um, a bunch of pieces of paper. I would say we had 10 pieces of paper that had a little pink sperm printed on them. I'm not going to say, you know, what, what the – they were just little pieces of paper. Would these so be uh, blotter acid? LSD? Is that what um, well, yeah, possibly. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, somebody just gave them to me. Gotcha. And uh, so we we took two each. Mm-hmm. So that ended up we had six. Who, and now who's we? we? Ripped the other six up and put them inside of a, uh, a cigarette cellophane. Okay. And went to go walk into Disneyland in California. Oh, all right. So you're on two hits of LSD. And, Is this with your uh, your boyfriend, girlfriend? Who's who's the other? Who's the other part of the we? Oh, it, it, it was just my buddy. Your yeah, buddy. okay. Yeah, my, my friend. You yeah, we pal. had traveled across the country. All right, so yeah, you're going to Disneyland. And this was when? How long ago? Okay, yeah, and, uh, and you, you have, to, uh, have to actually, like, ride this um, whole train, like, thing. If you've ever been to Disneyland in California, like, they, they pick you up when you park your car and they, like, drive there. And that was kind of fun in itself. Mm-hmm. But then you're waiting in, like, this huge long line. And I've still got these six hits in my pocket, oh my uh, hits of 
just 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 pieces of paper, right? Mm-hmm. You know, with pink sperm printed on them. And uh, once I get up, like um, I'm like the second in line, I go to reach out and I pull it out of my pocket, Uh-oh. and I <laughs> dump I dump all of the little pink sperm all over the ground. It all the people and you know there's like now, were people you on the left, already at this people point? on the right. Hold on. Or were you uh, were you tripping already by the time you got to the front of the line, or had you taken them like in the parking um, lot? Maybe about as much as you were when you were on um, Michael W. T. show the other night. Not really okay. that much. Because yeah, I wasn't so tripping far. very hard at all. You were talking about the Freedom Fiends yeah. from the uh, from the Porcupine Freedom Festival, where Michael Dean had me on. Yeah, exactly. You can't yeah, pull that, that stuff that out of your butt. No, I, I wasn't tripping that hard. You can't pull that yeah, stuff out of your pocket you know, here, I mean, man. This is mouse country. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an honest mistake, no, no, right? But I mean, all these people. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of. It's an all honest these, mistake. All these people are looking all around. Okay, all of a sudden, all kinds of little pink sperm, little blotter, yeah, blotter things, you could call them what you want. I call them drop confetti. Drop all over the ground, and all these parents start looking all around like, what's that? We didn't have any kids, you know? I was yeah. like 17. And so what I did was I grabbed them all, and I ate them. <gasps> six more? Yeah, so wait, wait. How, there were how many remaining? Six more, right? Because you had 10, and it was you and your friends. So six, two- six more. Six because we were each gonna, you know, we you were just like planning on like using them more? in Disneyland, but I didn't plan on dropping them in line. <laughs> oh my god, I can only imagine <laughs> what that's like. I've huh? only ever taken one hit of LSD. Hey, uh, buddy, welcome to Disneyland, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is well, exactly. Right. The and the first ride we went on was Space Actually, hold, Mountain. Hold on, now, hold on, that's hold, when it kicked in. Before you, before you go on with the, anybody with the story. who's ever been on Space Mountain would know what that might be like. Oh my god! Oh man, I, I just did it. I didn't want to go to jail. You know, I was like, oh yeah. my god. But before <laughs> like, you go on, you might have gone to an insane down. asylum, Matt. Just before you go on with the story here, uh, so just a little bit more information. So I've I'm, when I said I only have taken one, I meant at a time. I've taken LSD multiple times in my life. Uh, but never more than one or maybe one and a half one year. But, uh, but, you know, I've heard of people taking four, five, six, more than that. And it just sounds like it sounds like that would be a really intense uh, experience. So what well, happened when next? you don't plan on doing it, you know, when you take <laughs> two and then all of a sudden six are on the ground. It's like, OK, either I'm going to trip my booty mm-hmm. off or I'm going to eat these things and, and then there's no more evidence. <laughs> What are you going to do? Right? I think you'd have been all right just picking them up and putting them back in the the, the uh, cellophane baggie and walking uh, walking on. I mean, unless there was a cop uh, right no, there. No, I'm in line at Disneyland. What's that? Uh, I'm in line at Disneyland. There's, like, people to the left Some and line. right of me are Most looking on the ground. Most people don't know what People aren't paying attention, number one. Number two, even if they did see what happened to you, they wouldn't know it was LSD necessarily. You'd have to test it in order to find that out. It wouldn't be probable cause enough to search you, in my you opinion. You could pick it up and take it and put it in the toilet and flush it? Yeah. You could, have, you could have picked it up and put it back in your pocket, I think, and been I mean, completely obviously, fine. we're giving a lot of good advice, uh, you know, After years later. Fact. but <laughs> so, Yeah, ex- exactly. So and what that's happened? what you should probably do i would tell everybody that's what you should do is you should pick it up and you should get out of line and you should like walk over to the toilet and flush it but i gotta say if you're talking about video games that was the best video game that i ever uh, experienced in my I'm whole just imagining, life like, i'm imagining like Jimi hendrix guitar playing and like it's a small world <laughs> after all this could have gone oh, yeah. it's a small world and mr toad's wild ride Thanks. This could have gone terribly, yeah. I appreciate so anyways, terribly guys, wrong. That, that's all I had to say. Sounds Thank like you. it was a blast. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. I don't find I it wouldn't funny. Recommend, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Going up to Goofy, what kind of animal are you? I mean, if you're an experienced psychonaut, that's one thing. But, uh, whew, wow, eight hits of LSD. <laughs> Uh, at Disneyland. He's lucky he didn't leave that place in an ambulance. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. 855-450-3733. Take control here. Hour two's next. Tell us your story. You know Bellawood Flooring for its beauty and durability. And now at Lumber Liquidators, Bellawood Flooring is on sale. Get 10% off every Bellawood pre-finished floor, including solid hardwood, ultra-strand bamboo, and Bellawood mat with a unique oil-finished look. Save big on pre-finished hardwood at just $169 a square foot and black forest laminate for only $0.49. Cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Over 70 flooring deals and special 12-month financings available. But hurry, this sale ends Tuesday. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. 
But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,313. Silver opened at $20.92. And Bitcoin is trading at $651.67. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs. Online at affordablesound.com or call them up at 512-459-5253. In the news, the Department of Homeland Security announced Wednesday that security will be amped up at overseas airports with direct flights to the United States. While officials failed to identify specifically which airports will be affected or the exact reason, some reports allege the Obama administration is pushing for increased security precautions at European airports because of rising concerns that al-Qaeda operatives in Syria and Yemen have teamed up to develop bombs capable of being smuggled onto planes. California citizens are upset and taking action over the thousands of undocumented migrants being shipped from South Texas into parts of San Diego. American flag-waving protesters in Marietta, a community south of Los Angeles, prevented Homeland Security buses carrying migrant children and families from reaching a suburban processing center this week. The buses were forced to reroute to a freeway, which took them to a Customs and Border Patrol facility located in San Diego, within view of the Mexican border. Murrieta's mayor, pro tem, Terry Ramos, said he expects to see protests every time there's a bus on the track. U.S. District Judge Reggie Walton has ordered the IRS to explain why an outside expert should not be sent in to evaluate whether emails were really lost due to a computer crash. Recently, the IRS alleged that a mysterious crash of the hard drives irretrievably destroyed nearly two years' worth of emails between Lois Lerner and others in federal agencies and the White House. TrueVote, a House-based conservative nonprofit at the center of IRS targeting during the 2010 and 2012 campaigns, wants a digital forensics expert from outside the IRS to assess the evidence. IRS attorneys are expected in court July 11th to defend the federal tax agency. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show. Live Friday nights, 9 o'clock Central at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Many cities throughout Oregon and some parts of Georgia are giving motorists that are suspected of driving under the influence two options, either submit to a breathalyzer or lose your driver's license for a year. That report from Police State USA. 
Based on the inconsistencies of breath tests, including false positives, many argue that citizens should not be forced to prove their innocence or provide police with self-incriminating evidence. Judges in Oregon have teamed up with police to sign warrants on demand for forcible blood draws, which are expected to be carried out in abundance this 4th of July weekend under the No Refusal Program. A study published in the Public Health Report reveals that driving fatalities due to being under the influence of prescription drugs rather than alcohol are claiming more lives than ever before. Today, mind-altering psychotropic drugs like Zoloft, Xanax, or Lexapro are causing more automobile deaths than alcohol. A large number of fatal crashes came from prescription drug users who were 50 years of age or older. The Supreme Court has ruled that lawsuits by victims' families and survivors of the September 11th attacks can move forward. However, relatives of Osama bin Laden and Saudi businesses suspected of supporting the attacks will not be included. The high court decided not to review a previous ruling that dismissed lawsuits against 25 defendants connected to al-Qaeda. In 2005, Judicial Watch revealed FBI documents detailing how wealthy Saudi citizens, including relatives of Osama bin Laden, flew out of the United States in the days following September 11, 2001, at a time when most flights were grounded. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill, who has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock on 1370 AM in Austin. That's 1370 AM Sunday afternoon at 4. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Online, CaboBob's.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. From the admission of Ant Colony 00008256 KLN 00067X into the Union in 1897 to the day in 1817 when embarrassed construction workers realized they put the Erie Canal in the wrong place. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On August 5, 1962, Nelson Mandela was jailed until 1990, becoming fully rehabilitated through the South African penal system. And thanks to the services provided to him while imprisoned, emerged from jail a successful politician and internationally revered symbol of peace. Mandela's record of overcoming hardships and moving South Africa beyond its formidable racial struggles is a lasting testament to South Africa's correctional facilities and prove that the penal system's small cells, demeaning work duties, and minimal rations are exactly the tools needed for a prisoner to truly become a reformed citizen. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want just by dialing toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com, where you can create the content on the front page of the website. All of the items as you scroll down the front page that you see there were put there by listeners just like you, and then voted upon by listeners like you, so you can participate. You do need a free Reddit account and a freetalklive.com account. You'll link those two accounts together in a very simple process. And from that point on, it'll be easy for you to vote on and submit stuff right to the front page at freetalklive.com. Uh, Ian here with you in the studio this evening. And Johnson and Mark. Uh, Johnson, you're a pretty big video game player, probably logging more hours than I do uh, on games. I actually haven't played any games in uh, a number of weeks. but Actually, that's about where I'm at. Is too, that right? So, yeah. Um, so, well, anyway, we're talking about, for those of you just tuning in, PCGamer.com has an article about a tournament that is being put on by a group uh, that is apparently trying to become, have video gaming recognized as a legitimate sport. This is their reason for having separate competitions for males and females. They're calling themselves the International Esports Federation, and they're putting on their sixth world championship in, what did you say it was, Azerbaijan? Mark? Azerbaijan. Az Azerbaijan. It's funny. I think I'm actually subscribed to a YouTube channel about a StarCraft, a Starcraft YouTube channel by mm -hmm. a Finnish guy. He's uh, this guy Loco, and he's like, I, what I love about these uh, f the Finnish people is that the accents. This guy's like, okay, you need to do your build, and it's like <laughs> <laughs> he's got this very strange accent, and he's like, okay, you you know, oh right, you know, it's like it's it's like a very bizarre. So this organization had some pretty lame excuses. There's actually uh, the story at PCGamer.com has been updated a few times since they posted it. 
There's been some upheaval. There's been some upset. People have been giving feedback, including the... The internet let them know how they felt. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the, the folks over at PC Gamer wrote them a couple of questions about their stance on male-only tournaments, and their responses were as follows. Regarding promoting female players, they say, We know that esports is largely dominated by male players, and female players are actually a portion of the overall player base. Oh, uh, by hosting a female-only competition, we strive to promote female gaming on a global scale. So the suggestion being that if Since they didn't have a female-only uh, genre or rankings or whatever, uh, that therefore there wouldn't be as many females in the competition. And so the suggestion sounds like they don't believe females are as good as males. <laughs> right, that's yeah, what I was about to say. They're trying to say that the females yeah. suck. Well, it's you know, I mean, let's let give the, give the girls a chance so they compete compete against themselves is what they're saying, which is essentially what it is with any other sport out mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Um. I mean, there, I, I there was a famous tennis match between I can't remember, um, I can't remember which uh, who, who it was. Um, and female. Bill, Billie Jean King maybe. Okay. And um. Maybe McEnroe. I'm not. A, I'm not 100. So there was sure. a uh, an, an intersex tennis match. Yeah, there's been more than one, and as I recall, um, as I recall, the woman won in at <laughs> least in one circumstance. Nice. Probably I bet not overall. Was really angry about it too. What's that? I bet McEnroe was really angry. It wasn't. I he don't like know trademark? if it was McEnroe. I think it was somebody else. I'm not 100. He was trademark for his anger. Like he would always throw yes. things and get and shout and curse. He didn't like losing to anyone. Right. I don't know how he would necessarily. Um, but I'd, I'd have to look at the history on it. I I'm really just you know pulling from my memory mm-hmm. here and I can't remember the specifics it may not have been McEnroe at all um, but nonetheless there you know this is a sport where women can compete but I think men still have an advantage um, uh, but you Wait, know. You're, what are you talking about tennis yeah tennis okay uh, international standards is reason number two they say IESF is very close to getting esports recognized as a true sports now by the way I'm sort of correcting their English and not really correcting at all as I'm going through here. Um, it, this is clearly written by someone from South Korea, perhaps, who is not necessarily uh, really good with English. So, uh, treating like it true sports like it should be. Part of that effort is to comply with the international sports regulations. For example, chess is also divided into male-slash-female leagues. Now, I think chess has... Uh you know, as uh, weak of a standing to be divided, other than the fact that it has uh, heritage. You understand, like, chess has been being played a very long time. Video games are relatively new. Well, Um, PC Gamer has a rebuttal for this, by the way. To point number one, there isn't a Hearthstone competition for women. So remember, the original point of the story, in case you're just tuning in, was that the competition has four games for men, two games for females, and only one one of the games is crossed between the males and the females, meaning that there's a male StarCraft and there's a female StarCraft. But the other games are all different. And Hearthstone is one of the games for the males. Uh, So, of course, the suggestion being that for some reason females can't play certain games or won't be allowed to play them. And Hearthstone is essentially a card game. You know, so even if you were to argue that men should be um, better on a controller because of their physical prowess, which would be a ridiculous argument to make, and not even they are making that argument, at least not openly in this case. <laughs> I don't imagine that would apply at all to a card game, which would likely be not as uh, fast-paced as, say, an, an action shoot 'em up Yeah, them girls, they just can't think that strategy as well as the boys uh, can. See, I don't know. In terms of strategy games, I, I watched the last uh, StarCraft World Series online because you could watch it, and they, I mean, they really did it up. They're like, okay, he's going in, you know, blah, you know they're like doing the announcement. I mean, it's like, it was crazy. It was like, oh, Color wow. Commentary. This is my thing. It's like, oh, I really enjoy watching this because it's like not not a NFL, but it's you know it's got the same kind of feel to well, a, you football, can like a football to game, it. you know. You're but I can relate to it. Yeah, a football and player. So it was interesting. But actually, in that uh, World Series tournament, um, I was rooting for the fem- one of the female players who mm-hmm. who came, uh, I think, like three steps away from winning. The whole thing. So this so, was not one of the IESF groups. Then there's some other group. Of uh, no, no, this was uh, yeah the StarCraft. Uh, you know, I think Blizzard itself. So, somewhere. so again, to their point here, there isn't a Hearthstone competition for women, and the excuse of the organizers was that well, we want to separate women out so they can be more noticeable. 
because there aren't as many women. But now they're, they're not even allowing women to play Hearthstone well, to uh, me, in that case. So let's – I just looked up something here that's kind of interesting. And I, found, I was looking up gamer demographics mm-hmm. uh, just to see uh, – Female gamers is. have expanded over the years. Yes, I, they I have. Think. And they're about half and half. Is but it now? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It's been for a while now. Many mm. years it's been about 50 Because I was going to say I thought that they would really lessen the competition for right. women by making a women's league. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm just wrong. However, it depends on the game. Okay. So I'm looking yeah, at different I would games. Think that's so, true. like, for example, if you're talking about a game like Bejeweled Blitz, yeah, that okay. game is played by 75% females. This is a, a puzzle game, correct? Right, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like little gems that fall Which down. Which means they're like smarter than you. guys because guys are just shooting a bunch of things running around that, you know, anything uh, that moves. Sure. I don't know. Kind of. Call this of is, Duty. Is ninety two percent male uh-huh, that makes and eight percent female. Yeah, Call of Duty being a first person shooter, I believe. Right. I imagine you could probably separate colors of cars out by male and female too, though. I yeah. mean, you know, I I don't know what the colors are, but a seafoam green likely more often goes to women than to men, Far- and and by age demographics too. Farmville was sixty seven percent female, thirty three percent male. Uh, Texas Hold'em Poker. Is sixty seven percent male, thirty three percent female. So you know, it just depends on the game. There's a couple mm-hmm. of the other games it listed here, but I just found that this is this is from an ESA study uh, from Escapist magazine here, which is a you know a gaming magazine. Another but. rebuttal here to the points made by the International Esports Federation or whatever they're calling themselves. Yeah, that's what it is. I E S F. Uh, so not only do they not have a Hearthstone competition for women who are only allowed to enter StarCraft two and Tekken tag tournament contests. And segregation has historically proven to be a pretty poor basis for promotion of equality. The, uh, to, to point number two, we're unsure to what international sports regulations the IESF are adhering to and why separating men and women would, quote, get esports recognized as a true sports, unquote. The chess example is odd because while there is a separate competition for women, women can enter the World Chess Championship and compete against men. Just to ask Judith Pulgar. So their claim that there's uh, separate competitions for men and women in chess wasn't entirely accurate. Women can enter the World Chess Championship just like men. And then finally here, uh, another update from them on Facebook suggested they were absorbing feedback. Quote, in the last hours, we've received lots of feedback from you regarding the IESF 6th Esports World Championship, particularly regarding the male-female tournament division. They go on to thank people. And then later, the final update on the story is they ended the male-only tournaments. And they made it so anyone can enter the male-only tournaments. And they kept the female-only tournaments as well. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> so that's a good, you know, some you good know, news. They responded to market feedback. Good news. Good hey, this is sexist against men now. <laughs> we'll come back with <laughs> yeah. more. Eight fifty-five. I'd rather watch girls play anyway. More on the way. This is Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No. This is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government over?
overextends itself and spends beyond its means. Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000 year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait a minute. Now, now, wait a minute. Holy oh, crap! Yeah, right. Hey! Oh my God! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared of the property. What am I being now. detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at tollhouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control toll-free, and uh, bring up whatever happens to be on your mind. We've been talking about discrimination in the world of video games, uh, but we can go on and discuss whatever happens to be on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Plus, coming up, Google and the right to be forgotten, as is being imposed by force by the high court in the EU. We'll give you an update on that story. It's, uh, it was an outrageous story when we, when we had originally uh, reported it here on Free Talk Live. The hosts in the studio tonight include me, Ian. And Johnson. And Mark. And don't forget to join us online at freetalklive.com. We're going to Chicago. That's right. Yep. Just uh, coming up real here real soon, July 19th and 20th, for the North American Bitcoin Conference. And it's going to be probably one of the biggest bitcoin conferences that uh you've experienced now this is uh, i know the guy who puts on the north american bitcoin conference he also put on the one in miami everything went very well there's another organizer that puts together bitcoin conferences that people have critiqued in the past um, we've actually never been invited to any of theirs so you know it maybe maybe you've heard of it maybe you haven't this but is the good conference is what this is the good conference <laughs> so um it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's going to be all kinds of folks there. Roger Veer, who I'm looking forward to seeing. He's no, better known as Bitcoin Jesus. Charlie Lee, the guy who created Litecoin, is going to be there. Tony Gallippi from BitPay. He, they're, they're one of the largest uh, um, companies that allow businesses to accept Bitcoins. Um, they make it if you if you've got a big business, uh, BitPay is the one, one of the ones to call. Trace Meyer of the Armory Wallet. They're going to make sure your Bitcoins are secure. Peter Smith of Blockchain.info. Blockchain is probably the largest Bitcoin-related site out there. So check them out. Lots of uh, 
you know, folks that are sort of tertiarily uh, related to Bitcoin too, like Jeffrey Tucker of Liberty.me and Philip Flip Filipkowski of the Peace Action Network. And of course, Ian and I will be there doing interviews. Get your tickets at BTC. That's the abbreviation for Bitcoin, BTC. BTCChicago.com. You can pay in Bitcoin. BTCChicago.com. It's going to be the Chicago McCormick Place South building july 19th and 20th btcchicago.com nathan's with us in texas via skype on username lrn.fm you can skype in just like nathan has go ahead nathan uh hi everyone hey. i think hell's frozen over because uh first michael dean went to pork fest and now you're talking about esports and starcraft on free talk live well, we've talked about video games a number of times in the past on free talk live but go ahead um so i wanted to talk Talk about the IESF thing. Uh, you're it's talking the about the International so Esports Front or Front Foundation or something like that. Front of Federation. Like that. Yeah, it was Federation. So for, first off, let me preface this by saying, you know, it's their league, it's their rules, and there are a lot of gaming leagues and tournaments out there. So, uh, you know, on, on that basis, I think you can just say that they can make their own rules, even if I disagree with them. Um, sure, sure, and so they've now changed their rules, uh, which were discriminatory uh, towards uh, against women. Um, they've now changed those rules that, due to market feedback. Now, IESF, I mean, you said there's a bunch of these organizations. Is there like an NFL of esports, as they're calling themselves? Is there the NFL of video gaming or the NBA of, uh, of video gaming? Is one like larger than the others? The WWE well, of. Does a league stand be of, beyond, uh, head and shoulders above the other leagues? Yeah. Uh, well, not to my knowledge. Um, okay. I mean, there is MLG that uh, I was a big fan of last year, and there was a Major Alex League Gaming. I'm sorry? I like to call it MOG. Ma Major League Gaming. Is that what it stands for? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, the I Mulgers. was a big fan of it, and there was a female competitor named Scarlet who yep. uh, was playing in the MLG. That's who I was Dallas. talking about rooting for. <laughs> ah. And uh, she got to almost uh, fourth. She got to fourth place i think hmm. which was kind of disappointing you know i was rooting for her that she would place higher and maybe beat the guys but uh she beat uh, lots about, of guys yeah about the segregation thing though i mean it's silly to not let in my opinion to not let females also play hearthstone because you know it's a card game like magic well what if but it was a as, not a card game what if it was some other game when that was more strenuous yeah i don't care <laughs> Do if they're shooting matter if they're poning zombies in the head with uh you know headshots i don't care Nathan? Oh, he just hung up. I think we were having some connections difficulties there with uh, with Nathan. I think he was shocked by the idea that women might want to play a zombie first-person shooter. I think uh, Johnson plays a zombie game with some with some ladies. I do. So, toll-free number, 855 Really, you know they're ladies? Just some dude that, that has uh, decided really, to call you know, himself There are actually a lot of women who <laughs> I'm just play kidding, this, this group. A lot. <laughs> However, I would warn people on the internet not to simply read this someone's name and assume you know their gender. It's oh, true. no, this is, uh, you know, a lot of the games, especially nowadays, have voice chats along mm. with them, so you're actually in a voice conference with a lot it of these It gives you games. a better chance, I'll admit that. It's actually voice uh, gaming conference software that we use on LRN.fm to to import a lot of our show audios. Which so. which one do you use? TeamSpeak. We TeamSpeak, actually used yeah, to use Mumble yeah. for many years, and we're using TeamSpeak now, and yeah. it works very very well. You yeah. got high quality voice with very very low delay. This uh, TeamSpeak software, you can download it for free and set up rooms where your friends can join in and you can yell at each other. Or and just for fair play, we haven't mentioned Ventrilo as another one. Another competitor. There yeah. you go. So, uh, video games, if you've got anything else to say about it, you're certainly welcome to. 855 450 free. Apparently, there's a hurricane or something out there. <laughs> <laughs> there's like lightning outside. Yeah. I'd like to uh, to point out that Free Talk Live takes talk radio so seriously that we don't mind uh, to sitting right in front of microphones during thunderstorms. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I hope, that th I hope that there's some uh, surge protectors or whatnot. I know it probably won't completely protect. Nope, but, you know. nope. Uh, direct lightning strike is <laughs> no, not going to no, be stopped you're gonna die. by anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For the most part. It's going to jump right through your face. Right through your microphone <laughs> into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. That's great. All right. So let's, uh, let's, oh, you know what? Since we were talking through about the headphones, so it'll go through your, you know, yeah, probably through the headphones. Let's hope it's mercifully else. quick. Um, you know, since we were and talking, by the way, our ratings will skyrocket. Yeah, it's true. If the three of us die air, right here, <laughs> you only need one to die for real, you know, like news hit. Understood. I uh, hope that one of us is able to carry the torch because if you, both you and I go at the same time, Ian, it, it wouldn't necessarily be good for the Free Talk Live business model. Coindesk.com reporting on Bitcoin. Uh, the news recently, I think yesterday, was Newegg has finally decided to start taking Bitcoin, which is very exciting. We've talked right. about Newegg for a number of years here on Free Talk Live as 
uh, as a great location to go and get computer parts. In fact, we are uh, we have like a little uh, what do, what do they call it? A commission program, affiliate commission program with Newegg, where we get one percent or something like that. It's a small percentage it's for still anybody up, that right? goes That's to still active. Yeah, right? and for anybody yeah. that goes to shop.freetalklive.com, you can find the links to Newegg Canada, and Newegg US. But I don't know if Bitcoin purchases will benefit Free Talk Live. I have not learned Nor about I. that. I don't expect that they will. But regardless, I did go to New Egg today, and I did place an order with Bitcoin. So, yay. Just a little thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I actually ordered some new hard drives for, uh, for one of our audio servers here. But in other Bitcoin-related news, Expedia recently announced that it would be accepting Bitcoin payments on the 11th of June. So it's not quite been a full month for Expedia. Now, Expedia is kind of like a Travelocity sort of website with travel things, hotels, airline, as I understand it. Honestly, I've never been to the site. But uh, as what I understand, it's a fairly popular travel website. They have commercials. Speaking to Coindesk, Expedia's executive vice president of global product, Michael Goldman, declined to release firm figures regarding the total Bitcoin sales the company has seen so far, but has reported that they have exceeded their estimates. Quote, we did some estimates based on the size of Overstock and the size of Expedia and came up with our own estimates of what we could expect. And we are meeting and exceeding those. So, very good news for Bitcoin. I like Patrick Byrne's move of like reverse incentivizing uh, other retailers and vendors to accept Bitcoin by offering discounts to them. You yeah, know. I love that too. And yeah. faster pay, yeah. Yeah. We'll come amazing. back with more here. Uh, Toll free number is 855 450 free. Whatever you want to talk about goes here on Free Talk Live. More coming up. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, Hootia and Metabolic Complex, and Pro Metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the Anti-Parasite Intestinal Freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. If you're looking for work, you know what I mean by elevator speech. It's the short version, saying just enough to make the listener want to listen more. Even if you're not a job seeker, effective communication skills have never been more important with money and attention so scarce now. So to cut through the clutter, choose every single word as though it was the last word the person you're speaking to will hear. Otherwise, it might be. Instead of saying, due to the fact that, say, because, and avoid mispronunciations. Say jewelry, not jewelry, which could offend. Undoubtedly, you don't want to say undoubtedly. And whatever you do, never use a preposition to end a sentence with. Just kidding. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. 
Free Talk Live. I'm sure I can speak for many of thousands. I don't fear illegals. I don't want them here and their filth that they bring with and the disease that they bring with. All the people who work in the stores and the markets and the restaurants are overwhelmingly Hispanic. And they seem very clean and be doing a fine job here. And I've never heard anything about problems with disease. For you to defend the illegal immigrants, and I'm not sure, as I said earlier, which host at what time is very condescending. Um, Madam, I will defend anybody that is peaceful and looking for a better life for themselves. We already well, I pointed out. I, I don't defend them. I, I wish that people like you. You would say have that to Mexicans are filthy and you call me condescending, lady? You say no, they're I, disease ridden and filthy and they, I'm condescending? And they are. And they are. And You're I outrageous. Do live Get her out of here. Thank you for the she's, call. She's had all her rope. She's hung herself. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. We'll talk about this right to be forgotten. This ridiculous idea as is being forced down upon Google and probably eventually other search engines and who knows what else uh, over time, which will basically allow and is allowing people to contact Google to say, I think this search result should be removed about me. And we'll get back into that here. We'll get into it uh, because we talked about it several <coughs> weeks ago. But I want to also tell you about passports for Bitcoin. There are a lot of reasons why someone like you might want a second passport or to even renounce your citizenship Last year was an all-time record for people renouncing U.S. citizenship, and it's done all over the world. Whether it's governmental intrusion on privacy or protest against foreign policy, to protect your wealth, avoid pointless regulations, onerous taxation, or as a refuge, you may want to get a second passport or change your citizenship. Check out the St. Kitts program at PassportsForBitcoin.com, and obviously they take Bitcoin and is another way that Bitcoin can offer you more freedom. PassportsForBitcoin.com Go and check it out. Toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. Join us also via Skype at username lrn.fm. It was several weeks ago now that uh, you, the EU International Court or whatever they call themselves, they only really control, I think, the EU territory. Right. So the high court in the EU heard a, uh, heard a case out of France, I believe it was, where a, a guy was complaining because his... If you search his name on Google, there's stuff that comes up, like legal cases that he'd won ultimately or something like that. Like things he didn't want associated with him anymore when his name would come up on a search. He won this case where essentially the court came back and said, yeah, if somebody wants something removed, then you should remove it, Google. And there were certain stipulations on, you know, what would the requirements be of getting something removed. And I don't remember offhand what all those were. But it was pretty outrageous. It was like, basically, if something's bad, you can have it removed from the internet. And now right. Google, rather than do what I'd hoped they would do, which was exit those marketplaces, that's what, I, that's what I would like to see happen. Because if they shut down all their offices in France and wherever else... Actually, what they're doing is also kind of good. All good. I good. I want to hear is- about this. Because what I had heard was that they were doing it. I'd heard that they were actually complying with people's requests. And that's what's really good. You'll see. Oh, yeah, I want to know about why. this because yeah. that doesn't sound good to me, Johnson. So where's the story from? <clears throat> the story's from Wired. Okay. And uh, actually, let me ask you this. Who do you think the first people, the first class of people are going to be to utilize this? Politicians. Sort of thing? Yep. <laughs> oh, I would have guessed uh, computer hackers that just went through a list of names and spammed Google with every name they could find in the phone book. Yeah, that would Please be- remove me. Yeah, that, that could be amusing, too. Well, uh, the article starts out, the recent European Union ruling that granted citizens the right to be forgotten from Google's search results is morphing into a nightmare for the yeah, web giant. No kidding. British news organizations are reporting that Google is now removing links to some of their articles, including stories that involve the disgraceful actions of powerful people. On Wednesday, BBC economics editor Robert Preston said he received notice from Google informing him that a 2007 blog post he wrote on ex-Merrill Lynch CEO Stan O'Neill would no longer turn up in search results in Europe. Meanwhile, The Guardian reports that it received automated notifications on six articles whose links would be axed from European view. 
These included stories on a scandalized Scottish Premier League soccer referee, an attorney facing fraud allegations, and without explanation, a story on a French on French office workers making post-it art. In a way, in some ways, Google is just following the EU's dictates. The company fought the EU on the right to be forgotten issue, but it now has no choice but to implement the ruling, which the court At says mu- what must be a tremendous cost. Right, because just the idea that you would you would have to respond to these requests you need some sort of human response right because shouldn't they have to at the very minimum identify the requestant right. how do you prove that you know joe at email.com is actually joe smith in arkansas right, right. Um, well, he's, it goes on to say uh, i guess arkansas wouldn't qualify <laughs> right. was uh, was uh, joseph smith belgium. in belgium yeah there you go so it says it now has no choice but to implement the ruling, which the court says applies to where the information is inaccurate, inadequate, irrelevant, or excessive. By that standard, these takedowns... Read that one more time. Okay. Inaccurate, inadequate. Yeah, sure. So it now has no choice but to implement the ruling, which the court says applies where the information is inaccurate, mm-hmm. inadequate, irrelevant, or excessive. <laughs> By that standard... <laughs> By that standard, these takedowns would seem to overstep the letter of a decision ostensibly intended to protect the reputation of individuals, not censor news. But the issue, see, so Google's like going, oh, okay, we're going to take it full bore. Take it all down. Yeah, we'll take it all down. You want to be forgotten? (laughs) You're gone. You know, they're not going to, they're not going to like just, uh, you know. Google's uh, disappearing people from the internet. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, you want to be forgotten? You're gone. You know, they're not going to just like, you know. No internet for you. (laughs) Interesting. So the issue for Google just isn't just freedom of speech or freedom of the press. The right to be forgotten decision is calling unwanted attention to the easy to forget fact that one way or another, fallible, fallible human hands are always guiding Google's seemingly perfect search machine. Mm-hmm. The right to be forgotten decision is calling. Oh, sorry, That's, they repeated their line in the article. The BBC, uh, BBC's Preston writes that the removal of his post could be an example of clumsiness on Google's part in the still early days of its efforts to comply with the EU's judgment. Maybe I'm a victim of teething problems, he writes. Mm. It is only a few days since the ruling has been implemented, and Google tells me that since it has received... Since then, it has received a staggering 50,000 requests for articles <sighs> to be removed from European searches. That won't be a problem to deal with, 50,000. Yeah. yeah. This means that things may get less censorious, but in the meantime, the fiasco is chipping away at the gleaming edges of Google's brand. The removal of links to one article may be a blip, but the steady accumulation of removed links, especially to quality journalism written in the clear spirit of public interest, starts to erode the trust and the reliability of Google search results. Now, anyone who does a Google search, even for the article mentioned above, will have to wonder whether they're getting the whole story. And anything that suggests compromise, lack of transparency, or incompleteness in search results plants a seed that starts to undermine the idea of what a Google is supposed to be. So it kind of sounds to... like they're blaming Google for this. Yeah, they are. But let's say this, though. If that right to forgotten ruling, does that just apply to Google or does that apply across the board? I mean, do these other search giants have That's to... a good question. I don't know if it applies to the others. Presumably it does, at right. least the ones that are doing business in Europe. Right. Which is why I would have liked to have seen Google shut down their offices entirely in Europe and right. just say, all right, fine. Well, you know, We're European treat you users... like China. Right. European users can still use our service. We're just not going to hire anyone in Europe anymore because that's what would would make it so the European Union would have some sort of crux, some sort of way to operate against. They can't do that, though. Why is that? Because how are you, people, they, they would have to shut down their service. That The whole point is that their service is available in Europe and that. There. Well, no, but they I don't was have, using, to have offices in Europe. Sure, I was using Google Indonesia um, here in New Hampshire just right. Uh, recently. Right. But what I'm saying is that this right to forgot right to be forgotten is supposedly applies to Google in general. I mean, how it, no, it's only in the, the EU, EU, as I understand it. So what? Google.eu? Is that you know where the? I don't know. Yeah, if see. you are if you are searching from the EU, right. I believe you are able to. Uh, you're, you will be the ones who are subjected to this. Right. I mean, I suppose that they could just not 
you know, have offices there, but I don't know how that would affect the fact that they're this judgment is against them as sort of like an international corporation. I mean, I guess they could just say we're not going to be following your laws. But well, I mean, right, how could they enforce on Google if they're not physically in the jurisdiction? They would do a firewall just like China did. You know, when Google left the country, they essentially say no one in China can use Google. Is that it's true now? Yeah, I mean that. that at one I point, thought Google was voluntarily was. censoring for China. They were at they one left. point. Then they just said they changed their mind really? and said no. Yeah, I well, they, heard you know, that they, news. they changed that policy a long time ago. They said no, and then so now China is blocking Google. Is yeah, what pretty you're much. Saying. Yeah, and, and well, it, and I think it's also kind of a, they're very nationalistic over there, so they kind of volunteer. I think that would be better for Google if if Google were to leave Europe. Obviously, we're talking about the realm of pure speculation. It doesn't sound like they have any plans to leave right, Europe. Yeah. But if they were to actually physically leave, shut down all offices in Europe, continue operating, and then if Europe, uh, the EU, were to block Google, that would look really bad for the EU. Yeah, that's what I, I agree. That's what should be done. I think they should, uh, you know, that's what fire every single Google employee yep. in Europe. You yep. want to move out of Europe? We'll give you Fine. a job someplace where they let us do uh, search engine exactly. stuff because that's what we are. We're a search engine company, and that would then, have been the strong move. Then let the uh, you know anybody in Europe th- th- that let the judges choke on their sure decision would. for a little while. Toll free numbers eight fifty five four fifty three. You can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com You've been lied to, lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's, it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, and, of course... OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. 
Are you tired of governments around the world killing innocent people? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin is money that cannot be inflated or controlled by any state. By continuing to use their money, you're perpetuating the killing. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available to you now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. It's WeUseCoins.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. We invite you to take control of these airwaves. The number 855-450-FREE. And that is brought to you by ProXPN because privacy matters online and you should do something about it because it's up to you, unfortunately. You can't expect your internet service provider to protect you. In fact, your internet service provider is probably one of the worst offenders. They're probably capturing every website you visit, every search term you enter for as many as, in some cases, five years. And then, of course, holding that information so law enforcement or anybody else who asks real nice might be able to access it. You think they ask nice? Who, law enforcement? Yeah. They, if they don't have a warrant, they'll ask nice, yeah. And they'll probably get what they ask for. Usually. So you can stop that from happening by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. Download their free software. It's Windows, Mac, iOS devices, Android devices. It'll work. There's different software for all of those. Linux users, setup's a little different for you, but you can get it working as well. And it's actually pretty simple. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Grab the software and get started. And try it out. You can do that for free. But then when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, you can do it for 5 bucks a month by using our discount code to save 20% off the price of the premium account. If you buy the annual plan, that's what breaks the price down to $5 per month for great privacy protection. Basically, ProXPN is a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data. So use code FTL20, that's FTL20, at ProXPN.com slash FTL. You, with their premium account, get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world to which you can connect, and you can privately torrent as well. You get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and use promo code FTL20. That's ProXPN.com slash FTL. Yeah. I'm sure this is how they ask nice. The, you know, the way that they ask nice is probably like, oh, we need to see what's on your computer. If you cooperate with us, we can help you out. We can make things really easy on you. I mean, what your, your cooperation will be... Uh, reflected and if, if this has to go to court and we have to deal with this you absolutely if you cooperate so just show us what's on your computer it'll be that's how that's they ask more nicely, of a way they would ask lying an, that's more of a way they would ask an individual sure if they were to ask a corporation you know they would send a, an official sounding letter from on police right. letterhead simply requesting the user information or whatever right. it is they're looking for you know they might use some sort of statement like if you just go through with this we won't have to get a warrant but i think right. they'd probably leave that off just hoping that the official looking paperwork would be enough to get a response. Often it is. Yeah. Let's go to the phones and to your calls and thoughts. We've got James in Arizona on Free Talk Live. Hello, James. Yeah, speaking of video games, anything you get better at the more you drink and smoke pot is not a sport. Oh, you don't get better at uh, doing video games if you drink. Yeah, definitely not. I've, nah. been, I've played with a lot of people, and the more drunk and stoned they get, they just become <laughs> retarded. James, Excuse anything else you want to share? Well, Have you had a personal experience with this, funny, James? That's fine. It was a, it was a joke. Yeah. But speaking I, of video games and Fat Man and little, little Game Boy, you know, AC, who likes to post things on your Facebook page. Who? I don't know. Well, it, Angel Fat Clark? Man if it's on Game Facebook, Boy, AC, leave it on Facebook. Aaron Clark. Well, you happen to Free Talk Live likes this. Uh, Mark, you said you brought up something fascinating yesterday. You mentioned Rush Limbaugh. Somebody who I admit when I was fat man, a little boy, little Game Boy's age, I quit listening to Cold Turkey because I hate liars. And when he was talking about uh, the Clintons having Vince Foster murdered, I had about heard enough of him. And did, I he, never listened did he to make that accusation? Yes, he did, huh. and it was a long time ago. But I just like uh, I hate liars. And I hate when Ian like I can't stand my neighbor, America's roughest sheriff, Joe Arpile, who he uh, yesterday or was it the day before it suggested is a slinger, a swinger, uh, a, a slinger, a drug slinger. Yeah, your, Joe Arpaio, uh, the uh, America's dealer. toughest sheriff. Can you name the person that you 
No Can way. Can you name the person, by the way, on the public? Oh, of course not. No but you'll way. make the suggestion. That Actually, he's dead dealer. anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Not. I don't know what we're talking about. He's that talking about matter. the uh, right. thing that the thing. All right, hold on, James. I'm put you on hold. Uh, so what he's talking about is my allegation that Joe Arpaio, that I heard from somebody who might know, that Joe Arpaio, the so-called toughest sheriff in America, is actually, in point of fact, a drug dealer. It sounds like a wild accusation to me. Um, now, the town we came from, this wild accusation was made about the sheriff, too. The really it difficult— was the, It was Brayton or Manatee County Sheriff. Yeah, the difficult part about— I believe that tr- uh, as well, Mark. I heard it from a lot of people, so I, I've got to say. But the problem with these accusations are is you're never going to get the truth. Rarely, Very rarely. Rarely do you get the truth about whether or not the sheriff is slinging drugs because, I mean, they're the ones that are going to get away with it. Yeah, He's protected. Go ahead, James. The truth is, Mark, I could walk to his house and be there within a minute, a few minutes if I ran there, and I would confront him to his face and get the truth out of his fat effing mouth if it were the truth. Wait, it would be but a minute not. if you walked, but, but a few you minutes think, if you ran? Yeah, stop it. <laughs> you think you could just go talk to Joe Arpaio at his house and get him to admit to being a drug dealer? I believe the man. The, let let I him know talk. Where he lives. And I'm not a man that's I'm not a man that thinks um that making like Fred Phelps meets Ferris Bueller at a Memorial Day ceremony and carrying a peace flag makes you a rebel. I'm the kind of person that confronts liars, thieves, and drug dealers to their faces and tells them to quit what they're doing or I'll ruin what they've been doing for the rest of their lives. There's that's nothing the wrong with being a drug am, dealer, Ian. James. There is oh, if you're really? in power. Okay. I think that being a drug dealer makes you a moral moron, and somebody that uh, has is a client manager Why? is wasted their life and is ruining other people's lives by doing that. Can you but answer? Can you answer why? Mark, instead of can you say why, why being a drug dealer makes someone a moral well, moron? All one needs to take a look at is you, Char- uh, Johnson, or a bunch of the wasted people at Dorkfest this week to see the drugs ru- ruins lives. Literally. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, do you it's realize that you're talking to somebody matter, who's a teetotaler? I, I don't even I, drink, bro. bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so maybe you need to take back that dumb thought. I had to put him on hold. Go ahead, James. Oh. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Your last chance, James. Go ahead. Did you just drop the F-bomb on me? No. Did you just drop no. the F-bomb on Definitely me? Definitely not. I said okay, I had to put you on hold. I thought I heard dumb. I said I had to put you on hold. Uh, Go okay, ahead, James. That's because anyway, you incessantly talked. Back to Rush Limbaugh. All right. Goodbye. Back to Rush Limbaugh. Nah, no more of that. 855-450-FREE. <laughs> That's 855-450-3733. There were plenty of drugs at the Porcupine Freedom Festival, and it was an incredibly safe affair. Drunk people, guns all in the same place, people tripping, uh, and everybody got along. I didn't see a single fight or any sort of startings of a fight. I, I got to say that I think that sooner or later something's going to happen, all those open-carried guns. Guns, all those people with mind-altered substances. I think it's a matter of time. Um, the question is, how are we going to deal with it when it does? And I think it'll be interesting. Well, there was somebody who went pretty crazy last year, um, and I think it was due to alcohol and maybe lack of well, sleep. I did see the startings of a fight, actually. Oh, really? Almost, almost occur. Actually, this uh, gentleman had uh, taken way too many mushrooms uh-huh. and uh, started screaming about how he was God yeah. and how he was the universe and he was the universe and the universe is endless and everything is amazing and he's and he's did running he's around awesome. screaming and he, as he was doing this, just like screaming and running around, he, he ran into someone's tent, tent and tent. took yeah. over, out this guy's tent. Did this the universe guy was have a very gun? Angry. What? Did the universe have a gun? I don't know. What are you, what are you... Well, he said he was the universe. I want to know if the universe had a gun. Oh, I didn't. We are see talking him about armed, armed people. No, I don't here think. I don't know that he had a weapon on him or not. But, uh, he was kind of just carried away by uh, the security there at the event, mm-hmm. um, and they just you know had him sober up, and and we helped the gentleman whose tent was uh, taken down, put the tent back up. But I mean, there was no. Re- like, there was it a... almost became a fight, but it wasn't really. The guy just kind of held him down and was mm-hmm. like. Get away from me! You know, mm-hmm. like you need to get out of here, because this guy's so messed up and he can't well, even communicate. I gotta say, um, if you're gonna bring Wit back on off of hold, you're talking about James in Arizona. I'm sorry, James in Arizona. I'm used to calling him Wit uh, because that's what he called in earlier on. It's difficult for me to change my mind. I should be calling him James. Uh, that's what he wants to be called. Um, y- if you're gonna bring him on, don't talk over him. Let him talk. Oh, no, I wasn't talking over yes, over James. Were. James was talking over Johnson, and so I wanted Johnson to be able to say what he had to say without someone listening, having to listen to a bunch of crosstalk. 
Well, the, 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 I'll at, put at James point, on hold whenever I damn well please. At one point, yeah. all three of you were talking at the same time. That's right. So I put James on hold so we can actually discern what was being said. You did it just before you dropped him. Well, I put him on hold multiple times I actually know, during that I know, conversation. But then, <laughs> and I brought him back. I gave him a chance to continue uh, speaking, and he continue wanted to ranting accuse me of uh, dropping the f bomb or something like the that. The instance that you, I'm referring to happened just before you dropped him. So no, Which you didn't just put right him on hold. You. Yeah, you I did. Just I got I rid did. of him. I had put him yes, on hold, and then I brought him hold. back. And Never then mind. I gave him a chance to say something else, and he accused me of dropping the F-bomb and wanted to go and talk more about Rush Limbaugh, and I'd had enough. I can't imagine how this we, guy thinks that you don't I listen to him. We understand that Mark does not like it when people turn off people's microphones. Yes. <laughs> yeah, certainly <Bamf>. do. <laughs> so you're welcome to have uh, James on as long as you want, Mark, whenever you're hosting the show, but uh, I'd had enough of him. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can join us here on the air and talk about whatever happens to be on your mind. If you're interesting... And you're not rude and talking over top of people constantly. How about constantly. If you have the capability of having a conversation? Yeah, if you can have a conversation and, like, pause for a little bit and let someone else speak, it'll go better. We'll have you on for longer, usually, et cetera. It's a real challenge. Eight, eight for for uh, James, apparently it is. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. He, by the way, called the uh, studio line multiple times uh, yesterday. You're making an Presumably. Presumably. We'll have more on this Presumably. Google story. More on the way here in moments. Uh, hour number three is on the way. This is Free Talk Live. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. Silver is trading at $21 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,318 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $650. Antiwar.com reports the Red Crescent is confirming at least 170 Palestinians were wounded yesterday in rioting in occupied East Jerusalem after the kidnapping and killing of a local teenager in a revenge attack. The teenager, Mohammed Abu Qadir, was heading home from the local mosque after prayers when he was forced into a car by three kidnappers. Israeli officials say the indication from security cameras is that the kidnappers slash killers were Jewish and Abu Qadir was found an hour later dumped in a nearby forest. Though no one has yet been arrested for the killing, the assumption is that it was a revenge killing for the recent deaths of three Israeli teens in the West Bank. 
Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had promised justice in the wake of the killings. Though some Israeli officials were outraged by international condemnation of the killing, saying it was premature to label it a revenge attack, Israeli police have said they believe the killing was nationalistically motivated. Masses of protesting Palestinians marched in the Shufar neighborhood where the incident took place and clashed with Israeli police who were sent to disperse them. Among the wounded were at least six journalists covering the incident who were shot with rubber bullets by the Israeli forces. Yishal Frankel, the uncle of one of the slain Israeli teens, condemned yesterday's killings, saying revenge murder was totally unjustified. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Forbes reports, the IRS tax-exempt scandal has resulted in a number of casualties, but perhaps none more than the small tax-exempt organizations who have found themselves trapped in the black hole that is the application process. It used to be that clean applications would wait approximately 30 days for approval. Occasionally, waits could get bumped to 90 days, but that was fairly unusual. Now, the average is about 300 days after an initial application. That kind of wait time is ridiculous, not only for tax-exempt organizations, but for individuals who wish to support them. Tax professionals have been begging the IRS to do something. It seems they were listening. The IRS yesterday introduced a new, shorter application form to help small charities apply for 501c3 tax-exempt status. The IRS commissioner alluded to the program in his speech earlier this year at the National Press Club. Yesterday, however, the IRS announced that the new federal form 1023EZ has been made available beginning July 1st, 2014. The form available on the IRS website is just three pages long in contrast to the traditional form 1023, which is 26 pages long. The IRS estimates as many as 70% of applicants will qualify to use the new streamlined form. To qualify, gross receipts for the organization must be less than $50,000 and the organization must have less than $250,000 worth of assets. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for t-shirts, precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, President of the Kurdistan Regional Government, Masoud Barzani, has announced his government intends to hold a referendum on secession from Iraq in a matter of months. Barzani confirmed he believes the time is right to decide on Kurdistan's future, noting Iraq was already effectively partitioned by the creation of the Islamic State by ISIS, covering western Iraq and eastern Syria. Before a vote can be held, the KRG needs to establish an independent electoral authority to organize such a vote, and Barzani says only after that will Parliament set the date on the referendum. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. With each successive bite failing to relieve his anxieties, increasingly worried man Dylan Hawks told reporters today that he has yet to come across any trace of guacamole in his burrito, despite having specifically requested it when ordering. No, there definitely wasn't any guac there. Cheese, beans, chorizo. Oh man, I hope they didn't forget. Hawks has continued to maintain hope that there may still be an undiscovered sliver of avocado somewhere in his tortilla. However, with his fears for the meal mounting, Hawks has reportedly considered asking the cashier for a refund at various points while eating the burrito. The thing is, if you had a burrito and it was missing cheese, you might not notice it because there's sour cream, but guacamole is completely different. I just don't know how I wouldn't have tasted it by now. <sighs> Christ, I'm almost done with this thing. This is the Onion News Network.
This is Free Talk Live, launching into the third hour of the program. Plenty of time for you to call in toll-free and bring up anything that you want. The number is 855-450-FREE, and it's brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. Inviting you also to our website over at freetalklive.com, where you can create the content. Everything that you see as you scroll down the front page, the main column there, was created by listeners like you, uh, selecting content from around the web and pasting it into our submission form at freetalklive.com, which is really tied in with Reddit. So we've basically got a Reddit Reddit. Uh, subreddit, and that is something you can link in your Reddit account with Free Talk Live account. Make it easy to contribute content right to the front page of freetalklive.com and also cast your vote on other content. Johnson has more to say from Wired.com on the story about Google's restrictive court decision that has come down, forcing them to respect people's requests to remove search results it sounds like they may be going even further and removing other results um, yep. when people are requesting to have, oh you want your name pulled from the search results from these points well we'll just pull your name from all the search results exactly. or something like that we're going to get the rest of the story here in a moment but first going to greg in new york greg you're on free talk live hey how are you hi greg um, what's on your mind today? so yeah i i so- i'm very good it's actually raining it's the start of a hurricane here in, uh, yeah i'm very excited by it but yeah, it's category two up here, so hopefully it won't do too much damage. Okay. Um, I just I called in yesterday and I felt like I maybe didn't answer uh, some questions well enough. I think uh, one of you guys uh, brought up um, that uh, you know you if you wanted to start your own society, your own community, the current states kind of wouldn't allow that, and that's one of the big reasons why kind of states are evil is because they're not letting you. Uh, start your own experiment and see what happens, right? Yeah, right. Governments sort of throughout history have uh, been monopolies. Monopolies historically really hate competition because at that point they won't be a monopoly, right? Mm-hmm. Um, um, their only monopolies, frankly, are um, you know like a natural monopoly, which rarely exists for very long, or a state. Uh, the state is a monopoly, and it will sometimes uh, hand that monopoly off to other organizations, but the only real monopoly is a state. It prevents you, by the threat of force and actual force, from opting out from their system. Right. And I, w- I guess I just wanted to bring a different perspective on sure. the same situation and say, you know, I agree with you that in a certain given jurisdiction, uh, by definition of jurisdiction, uh, there is a monopoly on you know, the law or whatever. So there's one law that everybody knows. This is uh, the codified law. And you're right about that within a jurisdiction. But if you look at a broader picture, um, and it's not just in the world, you can see this with Apple and Google and online, just like what you were talking about now. Um, There are monopolies within a certain area, but they compete with each other. And governments and states compete and cities compete. So what do I I'm sorry, wait a minute. You Uh, said that Google's a monopoly? What are you talking about? So, for example, if you use Gmail, right, all mm-hmm. your email is stored on Google. Um, all your Google Docs are stored on Google. Uh, then Google makes it easier for you to store everything inside Google. But then when you store it, you can't install your own uh, plugins necessarily. You can just install what Google allows you to install. Mm-hmm. Similarly with Apple, if you that's, have – That's know, not true. App, if uh, that's Apple, that's right? not yeah. true. That's uh, not true. With Google Chrome, for instance, you can install uh, beta plugins and alpha plugins that aren't available in the Google Chrome store. You just have to – But only because always, they let you. You can always take your data out of Google because of the data liberation well, if, project. Yeah, if you don't yep. like Google Chrome, there's other browsers that you can use. How is Google a monopoly, though? You said Google and Microsoft. Well, he's claiming that it's, uh, Google's a monopoly with – Within the jurisdiction that Google's a monopoly right. with, that doesn't make any sense. So, I'd like to have yeah, Greg explain that to me. What does that mean? So, so I'll explain. Like you said, if you don't want uh, your data on Google, it lets you take your data somewhere else. And certainly, if you don't like to live in New York City because you don't like, the, let's say, the mayor's policies, you can move to another city. So it's very uh, similar in that within the city you are subject to its laws and, and jurisdictions. But as soon as you leave, uh, if the city lets you leave then it's competing with other cities. And if it's free, mm-hmm. uh, if you're free to leave, then that's freedom in some sense because you can choose between cities. Right. right? Okay. And you can choose between online services. And we would agree that the, right. um, so, the, the, the opportunity costs on moving your house and your life from New York City to 
New Hampshire is significantly more than moving your email service from Gmail to uh, an email service that you created yourself. But there's also a difference here, Greg, and that is that uh, I can choose to have email and I can also choose to not have email. But I'm, uh, you know, unless I choose to end my life, I'm going to have to live it somewhere. And I don't really think that saying to somebody, well, if you don't like your choices, you have to kill yourself is a real freedom-oriented option. So, therefore, um, I'm still forced under the threat of violence to live in some sort of political designation where men with guns will attack me if I don't do what they say. Whereas, if I don't want to use Google's Gmail service, I can just dis disable my account. And if I don't want to use any of the other email services, I can not have an account with them. And I can create my own email system if I want to. So it's not even a, at all a, a direct uh, corollary. Well, I actually agree with uh, – you brought up two great points. Uh, two, uh, the first point was the switching costs. Yeah, it's an opportunity cost. Is, is The switching cost is very high uh, moving country to country. It's smaller from moving city to city. Obviously, neighborhood to neighborhood, it's even smaller. So, so that has to be taken into account, of course. Uh, but, you know, it's still possible. People immigrate all the time. Um, but but the second thing I, I don't necessarily agree with, I think you said that there's no place on earth, basically, that you can start something. I would argue that it's more like, look, you have Facebook, you have um, other social networks, and if you want a good experience and they host it for you and they have the best practices and they have a huge uh, critical mass, then you would join one of these things. Obviously, you could leave. But it would also involve uh, a lot of cost. But I don't want to join a criminal gang. I don't have a problem with joining Facebook or Google because they give me products and services on a consensual basis that I desire, and they desire my usage and my looking at their advertisements and things like that. We have a mutually beneficial relationship between the two of us. But with the with the state, with the city, with these governmental organizations, there's a threat of violence involved, and there's that's why no, everything's different. There is no government on this planet that attracts people by offering them better service. All governments attract people and keep their citizens through violence and taxation and threats of force. Well, some places have lower taxes, Johnson. That's why like people have moved to New lower, Hampshire. So longer. less threats, but it's right. still threats. It's still a threat. So, so, Greg, I mean, let's, yeah, taking I, this to the yeah, extreme, sure. obviously, black people continued to live in Alabama um, after slave after slavery and Jim Crow and, uh, you know, during the Jim Crow period. Even does, it mean, though, does that mean they consented to right, it? Right. I mean, you know, obviously, this isn't consent. Um, and you and you have agreed in the past that freedom to leave is ultimately the freedom and that we don't have freedom to leave here really on this planet. So you're not claiming that there's freedom, right? No, I'm basically saying that you can start um, you can start your own society in a place, but that place will will not be as well developed. The same way you can start Antarctica? your own email server. Is that what you're saying? Will, you know. and, and are you advocating for Antarctica? Are no, this? not Antarctica. There's plenty of places on, uh, on the Earth that have very weak uh, government. Uh, well, you know, a weak, weak government. government. A weak, go, hold on, hold, hold on. Let me tell you a story. This is about a place called Minerva. It was the idea of some libertarians to go out into an unclaimed atoll and add some sand and build up a little island and create a libertarian paradise. Um, the governments of, I believe, New Guinea, uh, Tonga, Australia, and New Zealand got together. They uh, told the king of oh, Tonga. I think I've heard of that. The king of Tonga to, to head out with a gunboat. Now these are people that are not prepared to defend their little bit of uh, their little sandbar. Um, they're just there. The, a, a boat shows up with a 50 cal on it and says, "You will be leaving now, or you will be dying now. You can choose." And they okay, didn't. I do take that point. Uh, yeah. yeah. So there there is no I mean, place I, on the yeah. planet. Oh, by the way, Antarctica's already claimed and there's treaties that say that you you know you people can't can't, uh, can't move there unless you build a boat and claim that boat is a nation because every boat has to be licensed to a flag. I, and I'm sorry, the United States, the most powerful government the world has ever seen, is a big proponent of this because they don't like the fluidity of uh, states and changing hands and, and things like that changing. Greg, thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. There really isn't freedom to leave. We're going to come back with more here in moments. You can take control as well here on Free Talk Live. 
I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, July 2nd, 2014, gold opened at 1327.90. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1375.98, 687.99 for a half ounce, or 343.99 for a quarter ounce. That's 1375.98, 687.99, and 343.99. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe 15000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan, penalties and interest killing you, missing tax returns, being garnished or levied, not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back. Call the Tax Monkey now, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, that's 800-281-6030. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com you can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can, of course, bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. And there's some great advertisers that are behind the show. Quantum Vibe and Big Head Press have been with, uh, with us for a while here on Free Talk Live, to the point where they have now released Quantum Vibe Volume 2, Murphy collects the adventures of the group of, uh, I don't know how you describe them, the heroes, I guess, science fiction adventure webcomic. 
that uh, we've been talking about for quite a while. You can actually go and read it for free at quantumvibe.com. Buy yourself the 161 full-color page printed volume from Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and BigHeadPress.com. In volume two, the question is asked, when we create, uh, we manage to create robots that can look and act like humans, that is androids, will they be our slaves, our masters, or our partners in exploration and prosperity? And the answer, according to Quantum Vibe, is all of the above. So you'll encounter the heroes with their epic mission to open a vast new frontier as they meet an android slave culture on terraformed and corporatized Mars. Then they later join forces with a liberated android friend to avert a deadly disaster in the freewheeling asteroid belt. Go and check it out at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, BigHeadPress.com. It's Quantum Vibe. All right, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We'll go with more on the Google takedown notices where people are requesting. 50,000 requests have come in in just the last few weeks to Google in Europe to take down search results that some people didn't like. Let's go first, though, to Michael W. Dean, the host of Freedom Fiends, with us here tonight. Go ahead, Michael. Hi, Ian. How are you? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Hey, what's up? How's your brain? It's good, man. It's been a nice recovery <laughs> week here from uh, the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Yeah, I uh, I had so much fun with like living vicariously through you, just tripping your brains out. And yeah, that's I really you know, they wasn't say, tripping very hard. On buzz your show. driving, buzz driving is drunk driving. The <laughs> government tells me that. So you know, one quarter of one old hit of acid on the radio is tripping. You know what's on radio. So. I went out and bought a Lexicon MX200 effects unit, and the Freedom Sweet. Fiends will never be the same, and nobody <laughs> will like to listen to it. Because you're going to start That's using tough. effects on your microphone? Yeah, I just got it, and this is the first test of it, so gotcha. there you go. It's working. Um, <laughs> I'd like to let you know. Well, what, what, for our listeners that don't know, uh, you were out at the Porcupine Freedom Festival last week. It was your first time visiting uh, Porkfest, and it seemed like you and your wife, DJ, had a, a lot of fun there. Um, and it was also a lot of fun doing your show in the middle of the night. You're, you do Freedom yeah. Feeds from 1 to 3 in the morning. And so I, you actually had me come on the first yeah. night that you were there, and I had taken a, a very weak dose of LSD earlier in the uh, the evening. Yes. And you have taken some LSD, though, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my board... Just so hard. The remote... Yes. No, it really wasn't, really wasn't that hard. Um, <laughs> if I was tripping too hard, I wouldn't have wanted to come on the air, I don't think. But um, anyway, you the, the board that I was using there at Porkfest has vocal effects on it, very much like the ones you're using now. But thing is, the way that it's, it's set up, and I don't know if there's a way to make it work the way that it, we might have wanted it to, the, the listeners on the radio did not hear the vocal effects. So you were turning on echo and reverb and yeah. like, you know, devil voice and chipmunk voice, <laughs> and you were doing all of these effects, and everyone in the audience at Porkfest could hear this. But to the radio <laughs> listeners, they weren't hearing any of that. And so it was like people listening to the same show were not listening to the same show. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was just just for the listeners in the in, in the room. The people playing the home home board version of the game didn't get, get did not get the effect. And there is not a way to do that when you're doing a mix minus like that, which is why I got an effect that does it before it goes out on my mic. Very cool, man. Well, it sounds like you're going to have fun with that tonight uh, or I guess it will be tomorrow or uh, Monday or whenever it is. Yeah, Saturday, 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 Saturday. Saturday the yeah, end, I actually, the I actually did call in about something though. So, okay, good. When I showed the movie that I made, Guns and Weed: The Road to Freedom at Porkfest, yeah. I hadn't seen it in three years since it came out. Hmm. You know, because when I come out with something, I don't rest on my laurels. I move on to the next big project I'm working on. So, I actually got to see it with an audience there, and it was really fun. Was that the first time you'd ever screened it in front of an audience like that? Mm, a Porkfest audience, okay. but yeah, I'd shown it a couple places before, but um. No, but it was the first time it was in front of the right audience, okay. I would say. <laughs> Duh. And so I'm watching it. I'm thinking, God, there's so much like minarchism and the Constitution's going <laughs> to save us and the stuff that I believed three years ago when I was making oh, it. Wow. You know, I went from minarchist to anarchist while making it, basically mm. from just hanging out with Nima Vidati every day, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, so I'm watching and I'm like, you know, this movie's 99 minutes long, and if I took out about 20 minutes of the Constitution licking, it would be a much better movie. Hmm. And I said at Porkfest that I was going to do that, and I basically, like, planned it while watching the movie, planned it on the plane home, and then yesterday I did it. I did it. It took, like, eight hours. I wow. cut 22 minutes out of the movie, 
And uh, if you go to gunsandweed.com, you can download the torrent of it, a DVD ISO or a really good looking HD encode or Sweet. watch it all, all on YouTube. And I would invite people to do this. It's like, you know, point and click activism. So you this is like Guns and Weed 2.0. It's it's more yeah. hardcore. Yeah. I will it's, be sharing the link to that tonight. It's, it's more <laughs> hardcore yep. and it's a uh, faster pace. Definitely. And, uh, you know, cool. I took out like I probably took out like 15 minutes of statism and then like five minutes of stuff that just didn't work after seeing it for three years later. Mm -hmm. And it's really a better movie now. I want to thank Derek J for giving me some ideas technically on how to do it. Like I tried to open up the whole project and I, it was on a different computer and it just didn't line up. And Derek's like. Hey, I did that with uh, with my movie. I just I just took it from the high def output and just chopped. And I'm like, but then the music will jump and stuff. And like, the music it worked fine because the music's all like kind of trip hop that has a beat through it anyway. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't it's seem like it jumps it when I took it out. A couple yeah. places I had to put in an audio fade and a fade, you know, cross fade visually, but it works so much better, man. Hey, it, far out. You know, because also. When you make a movie, you think you have to put everything in it. You think it's going to be the last thing you're ever going to do. That's how I feel about art. And it's like mm. you look at it with fresh eyes three years later, and you're like, man, i got to do some chopping. So go to gunsandweed.com and yeah. get that and share it far and wide, please. Far out. Hey, thanks for the heads up on that. And, yeah, Derek J. did do the same thing with Victimless Crime Spree. All, no, I guess not the yeah. exact same thing. Victimless Crime Spree was all, always a hardcore voluntarist you know, peace message, and it still is. He just wanted to do a oh, short right. Yeah, a long movie can always be shorter. You know, it doesn't yeah. have to be really, really long. No, that's definitely yeah. true. That's definitely true. Thank you, Michael. Yep. Appreciate the call Worms. tonight. Yeah, and I mean, I prefer the 90-minute version just because with Derek J's, I mean, we did cut down from like eight hours of footage basically into a, into a feature-length documentary, and it was our goal to have a feature-length documentary, and I don't think you can really argue that 60 minutes is feature-length. I think it pretty much has to be... You know, at least in a at least an eighty minute, if not ninety minute, movie for it to be considered feature length. And but the sixty minute one is really solid. It's a it's a good one. So if you're a little more time challenged, you can just watch the hour long version. And both of those are available at victimlesscrimespree.com. Just click up on Watch in HD free right up there at uh, the top of the page, and it'll link to uh, to both of them. So very cool stuff. Toll free number, and it's free at victimlesscrimespree.com. Our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Johnson has more to say from the Wired.com piece about Google and these takedown notices where people are able now in the EU to request Google remove their name from certain search results. And it sounds to me like the window is wide open as far as what sort of things you can request to be pulled down, like almost anything. Very, very uh, loose rules yeah. on this. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. You share your thoughts. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc. 
as in Creative Commons. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com if you enjoy lrn.fm please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp dot lrn.fm that's amp dot lrn.fm Talk Live. We'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss. Just dial in toll free 855 450 free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line 855 450 3733. Posted links to the new uh, hardcore voluntarist version of Guns and Weed on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Also posted a link to the 60 minute Film Fest edition, as it's being called, of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. So, again, if you're time challenged, you can go and check that out. All right, joining Wait, us. How here. short is Guns and Weed? It's now a sixty-minute uh, cut, I think. Well, here's a genius idea: Grindhouse. Mm. Come on, slap them together, put them in a full movie on DVD. You should do that, Johnson. That's a great <laughs> idea. I fully support it. Uh, of course, both Guns and Weed and Derek J's are already available as DVDs, and with the Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree DVD, you get eight hours, nearly eight hours of bonus activist footage on there. You just pop the thing in your computer, and you can pull them up and, uh, and watch them. Very cool. I think I would like to hear a a, 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 a commentary, like do a grindhouse, right? But then have commentary. Have Michael Dean comment on Michael yeah. Dean and Derek J commenting over both movies. Yeah. Like a whole, like an extra track. Ooh, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, go, hey, you know what? If you need focus and you're feeling fatigued, check out modup.net. There's modafinil. You need to learn about this because studies show that one in five students are using this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work, giving them the critical edge they need. Do your research over at modup.net. Look... Uh, Look into their fast delivery worldwide for guaranteed high-quality modafinil. They're also a supporter of the Bitcoin community. When you order with Bitcoin at modup.net, you'll get a 33% discount. And to make the deal even better, use code FTL to get an extra 10 tablets with your order. Now remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. So look into it for yourself and learn about modup.net and modafinil. It's great service at a great price, and don't forget to use code FTL. As we continue here, Google is uh, taking down people's requests in the EU. You can send Google a request to say, I don't like this search result mm -hmm. about me. 
I think it should be removed. And it's and starting they under, have to remove it, yep. apparently. And that kind of undermines the idea of what Google is supposed to be. Right, to you search know, things on the internet. Right. Well, I mean, and you know, continuing with the article. The since, good and the bad. Right. Well, it also says, since the beginning, Google has cultivated the idea that its results are like good journalism, unbiased, complete, and compelling. Hmm. Nowhere in that message is more. Uh, nowhere is that message more clearly telegraphed than in the design of Google's search interface itself. Google isn't a person; it's just this little box. Put your search here, and the smartest computers in the world will tell you what you need to know. Mm -hmm. No, they're right on. Yeah, no messy human and judgment involved. In reality, however, teams of living, breathing people are constantly at work behind the scenes to uh, to. At Google, tweaking algorithms to juice search results according to subjective standards like quality. Yes, this, unlike monopolies, Google does not rest on its laurels. They're right. constantly upgrading and tweaking their technology. It is still algorithmic, though. So, I, I, you know, this article is making a point that I don't necessarily agree with, that it's human-driven. It's more algorithmically driven. But Somebody anyway. writes those algorithms. Right, sure. Well, it says, this is often a good thing. Concerted efforts to cut down on the proliferation of link spam and content farm drivel have kept search results for truly useful, which is good for users and Google both. But as Facebook has experienced even more strongly in the backlash to its emotional contagion study, users prefer not to be reminded that human-crafted filters unavoidably come into play in the dissemination of digital content. Assessing the reaction to Facebook's study, social media scholar Dana Boyd writes that the anchor is really at the practice of big data itself. The idea that Facebook and other companies that collect and use data about people are far from just neutral facilitators. Facebook designs its algorithms not just to market to you directly, but to convince you to keep coming back over and over again. People are good at that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I am yeah. hooked. Yeah. People have an abstract notion of how that operates, but they don't really know or even want to know, Boyd writes. They just want the hot dog to taste good. Whether it's <laughs> I want my notifications. I want them now. <laughs> Whether it's couched as research or operations, people don't want to think that they're being manipulated. Mm -hmm. So when they find out what Soylent Green is made of, they're outraged. The hmm. same could just well apply to Google. People don't want to think that their search results are fungible, which means that Google's interests are also best served by keeping that notion obscured by the simple search box. A censorship of news articles under abuse of the right to be forgotten is just as much as just a much more blatant reminder of that fungibility, a reminder that Google would clearly like everyone to just forget. Can you rephrase that last part? I'm a little confused about what the fungibility of Okay, so it says the, the censorship of articles under the abuse of the right to be forgotten is a much more blatant reminder of... Wait, 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 so what you mean by that is Google has been removing articles maybe that weren't requested necessarily to no, be removed? No, no, no. It's, it's under this... Uh, people have been abusing this right to be forgotten mm -hmm. thing. They're saying, like, remove this, remove this, remove this. And so Google's complying, and that's censoring news, right? It's censoring right. some news stories about certain well-known figures, which shouldn't really be... I mean, unfortunately, they have to remove it because of this stupid EU law, but, yeah. like, you know, it's their public figures like they should have to not remove this i mean what if somebody submitted a, a, a request in europe remove obama mm -hmm. from the internet like obama requests i want to be forgotten right uh remove me from google i want to be out of yeah. here barack and so obama all, takes a plane flight to europe and right. uh, sends an email right? so suddenly they have to remove all news news articles about the president of the united states from sound all ridiculous. news articles everywhere you can't have him on google like what that doesn't make any sense it's it does you know it's it's a nonsense terrible law and it's what not it, even a law it's just a court ruling. well sure but what it's doing is well, I think no. I mean, if it's a court ruling, I think it's also a law over there. I mean, they made it kind precedent. of a law. Yeah, precedent. it's a ruling from yeah. the bench. I mean, ultimately. So if they want that ruling, let them enforce it. So mm. it's also a reminder, though, that the Google results are not really truly algorithmic. They're human driven, and mm. that they're fungible. In other words, they're changeable. And Google doesn't want people to really think about that. You know, like they want you to think, hey, this is just this is algorithmic. It's computer driven search. Your results are being generated by very smart computers and that mm. people are not involved. But the reality is, is that people are involved. And this is really shining a spotlight. on I that, see what you're saying, here. which is sort of this obviously liberal author's way of, you know, 
attacking Google. I mean, it's it's one of these things where it's like, uh, you know, uh, well, Google Google's deserves some razzing on this one. I mean, they uh, they did not stand up for freedom in this case. I mean, they they stood up to the point of you know going to the Supreme Court. They're being kind of passive whatever. aggressive. Is from the looks of it. Oh yeah, you're gonna have yeah. me remove this. I'll just remove a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just- it's like uh, I mean, I kind of like the way that they're handling it. Oh, you submitted a removal request. Okay, we'll remove everything about you. Is I kind of like actually that. what's happening. It though. seems like it. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're gonna have to wait. I mean, this is we're still in the really early yeah. days of this. Yeah, that's but true. if they are doing that. Thank you, Google, because, I mean, that's amazing. That's really kind of the hilarious way to respond to it, and they really should. Okay, if they are doing that. It's going to make it's going to make the Internet. It's going to be it's going to set the precedent for other companies to do the same thing. And it's going to make search engines completely useless, which is just going to. Why would they want to do that to themselves? Why? Because it would it mocks the EU's ruling. Well, so what? That, That doesn't make them money. (laughs) <laughs> they're they're not, making money by continuing to be in the market. How's it going to make them money by drawing? By if people don't go to Google, they're not going to be in the market anymore. If people in Europe decide, hmm, we can get better results from apl- startpage.com yeah, or whatever. Yeah, but if this ruling, apl- this ruling applies to everyone, if it's, if it's right to be forgotten. And does they it, have though? To, I believe so. It probably does, but it wouldn't yeah. apply to companies not doing business in those countries. If your if your search based right, but engine, you're not making any money if you're not doing business. In that's that not true. You can take money from people in other countries. You can take Bitcoin. You can t- set up credit card processing. You don't have to be physically located in one of those countries to do business there. I'm to, not sure to exactly. do interactions with well, people I'm, living there. I'm telling you that I was using Google Indonesia here in New Hampshire. Right. So if uh, somebody if if Google moved out of the EU wherever that might be and just said, you know, we're not doing business there, but you can use, you can access this if you want to. Yeah, we'll come back with more here. Uh, Toll free number 855 450 free, 855 450 3733. Take control of the airwaves on Free Talk Live. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. You know Bellawood Flooring for its beauty and durability. And now at Lumber Liquidators, Bellawood Flooring is on sale. Get 10% off every Bellawood pre-finished floor, including solid hardwood, ultra-strand bamboo, and Bellawood mat with a unique oil-finished look. Save big on pre-finished hardwood at just $169 a square foot and Black Forest laminate for only $0.49. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Over 70 flooring deals and special 12-month financings available. But hurry, this sale ends Tuesday. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia and metabolic complex, and pro-metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. 
Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up anything you want. Toll free here at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. With you in studio this evening, Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. Lots of uh, cool stuff on our website. And it's all free. You don't have to pay a subscription fee at freetalklive.com. But we do have the Free Talk Live AMP program, which really helps Free Talk Live out. It helps us get on new radio stations. Actually, just got a couple new stations signing on today. Uh, very excited about that. We'll be announcing more stations in the uh, the near future. Got over 150 licensed FCC, uh, FCC licensed radio stations, even more that are not licensed by the FCC over at, it's just hard to count those, uh, over at affiliates.freetalklive.com. You can learn more about how many stations we have there and where they are. But if you want to help us get on more, because we can get on 300, 400, 500, maybe even 600 radio stations. It's all, Rush all Limbaugh's those, on 600, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And he's got a much more difficult uh a contract than we do. You have to carry all three yes. hours. Um, you have to, you know, there's affidavits, make goods, the whole him. thing. Yep. You don't have to pay Free Talk there's Live. There's a check on a monthly basis. Yep. So uh, go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can become a Free Talk Live amplifier. And actually, there there was somebody I was who I was hoping would call in tonight, but he didn't. And I think it's relevant to kind of bring it up, at least in short form here. And maybe if he does call later this week, we'll uh, we'll talk further about it. But uh, the Free Talk Live AMP program goes to get Free Talk Live into more ears, not just to get new radio stations, but to bring new internet listeners on board, for instance. So, like, we're doing Google AdWords uh, outreach campaign, advertising to people, getting clicks, getting people to listen as a result of uh, internet advertising. But something else that is done is uh, Free Talk Live is buying satellite time through uh, RRSat, which is a satellite provider company. It's called Free to Air Satellite which means that all you have to do is get a receiver and a dish, plug them in, point the dish in the right place in the sky, and you can receive LRN.FM content 24 hours a day, seven days a week in your home. Free. Anywhere, yeah, for free. Just for the cost of the equipment. That's it. Uh, no monthly fee. And that includes also a bunch of other free TV stations like RT, Al Jazeera's up there. And this is across all of North and Central America. What I didn't know, and I didn't find out until today, and it was actually a, a post by Michael W. Dean that gave me the heads up in the Free Talk Live AMP-only forum on Facebook, uh, is where this conversation went down. So if you're an amplifier, you can go and read the, the details on this. But Michael said he was talking with a listener of both Free Talk Live and the Freedom Fiends and LRN.FM online from Cameroon, Africa. And I didn't know where Cameroon, Africa was. Uh, maybe I'd heard the name in the past. You didn't know that Cameroon was in Africa. I'd never, I don't, I didn't know anything about Cameroon. Uh, turns out it's a place where English is an official language along with Fran uh, French. And it's kind of in the central west, like on the western coast region uh, in the central portion of Africa. And so the guy claimed he was listening to Free Talk Live via satellite. And that 
made me think, wow, we're still on in Africa. What happened was, back in 2012, our satellite company uh, gave us a trial run on this new satellite up in, uh, in Africa. And they said, oh, we're just going to put you on two months for free because they wanted to sell us Africa as, uh, as a distribution. And uh, they never took us off. So we've been on in Africa, in West, you know, Central Africa for two years on satellite. Do you and think the satellite covers just a portion of Africa? Africa's big. It's yes, it's a big uh, continent, and this, this satellite signal only covers the east-west Central uh, Africa. But there's still a lot of damn people that live in that yeah. area. Free and talk live down in Africa. He loved the guy was a huge fan of uh, of LRN.FM. He says he's introduced uh, our shows and the the network to lots of his friends. That they'll get together, uh, you know, get together and hang out and talk about the issues that we discuss on the air. And I just thought it was so cool because you know I'd always envisioned this show and LRN.FM getting into ears internationally. Uh, whether people speak English or not, because we know we've had Chinese listeners call in the past and say they listen to Free Talk Live just to listen. They're, they're in English classes, and they listen to our show to hear English being spoken. Right. Well, Free Talk Live is has been rated the best political podcast uh, five times by podcastawards.com. So we have a high profile. I mean, you don't obviously want to pay for some radio talk show host's uh, podcast if you're just trying to learn English. You yeah. just want to learn, hear people speaking it. And this guy happens to speak English. He's a, uh, again, English is the national language in Cameroon. He happens to be an English teacher. Uh, I'm just well. trying to offset my like notion of certain African countries like Liberia and just thinking like, you know, like, well, I was thinking about eating this baby of the offending gender, you know, like, but instead I will practice the non-aggression principle. It's just so, such a disparate, you know, like, some areas in Africa are so violent. I think, well, yeah. It's but just interesting to think of, like, Free Talk Live, you know, somebody over there that could potentially be in this kind of an environment listening to a show like Free Talk I Live. I think that Africa is probably, I'd have to look at the square, um, you know, the square miles on it, but Africa is something like the size of North and South America combined. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of different people in Africa. And Johnson, I would think that uh, people who are being oppressed and held down are very, very ripe to the ideas of freedom. Absolutely. I'm just trying to, I'm just you know, just thinking about somebody, you know, when you think, when you speak on the radio, you are kind of trying to at least somewhat think of what an audience, what your audience might be thinking or how they're reacting to something. And it's just, it's interesting to think about for example everything that we've said in this particular show going into the minds of some you know somebody who has been exposed to that level of extreme brutal violence, brutal violence. sure and yeah. i love the idea that these ideas are getting out in places that you might not necessarily have realized when you amped the show so please go mm -hmm. to amp.freetalklive.com you're reaching more people with the ideas of liberty than you may have even had any clue let's go and go to your phones and uh, phone calls and thoughts steve in utah you're on free talk live listening via tune in online hello steve hey. hey i was wanting to um can you hear me? Yeah, we got you. Go ahead. Uh, okay, good. I was I thought of a way that Google could comply with the European order without so much labor. You know, if there's uh, 100,000 people or a million people and they decide they want to edit themselves off the Internet, that's going to become humongously monstrous project. Very Google. expensive on uh, human hours to right. try to verify a claim. Oh, yeah, some Joe Blow is emailing us saying they want all these links taken down. How do you know that's the real guy? I guess you'd have to require some sort of government ID, but who's to say that wasn't falsified? Right. I mean, it sounds to me like it would be a, a pretty ridiculous process to go through this, to try to remove stuff by request. So I have a simple concept, and that is... Uh, Figure out what country they're coming from. Figure out the IP addresses that, mm -hmm. that correlate with that with that country, and block all Google access from that country. They they want censorship. Boom, there. You, that country is censored. Any other request from that country fall into that one. Then done. They only have to go through about fifteen or twenty of those, and they're done. And would the idea there be that the Google would be making people so upset that they couldn't access their services that they would complain to the politicians and change the the law? Is that the idea? Yes. Yeah, the, they want censorship. Fine. 100%. We don't go with part, you know, piecemeal censorship. Let's go with 100%. You, your nation wants censorship. 100% for you folks. There you go. Have fun. Steve, thanks for the call and the thoughts tonight. Let's continue here with Brian, I believe, in Nashua, New Hampshire. Brian, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hey, it's a good 
thing this weather wasn't last week we actually had pretty good weather during board fest this year yeah it was pretty good go ahead with your thoughts yeah you bet um I, I was gonna say is this related to the google's quote chilling effects where they talk where they actually list everything that's been requested to be removed on the google listings and they they uh, you guys i'm not sure if you're familiar with it but it sounds like this is just basically going to turn chilling it effects to to overload I, I'm just trying to understand if it's the just news or if it's actually just web results. I believe they can request uh, takedown of any yeah, anything, results. Anything that's listed on Google. A very, They're very wide and, categories. And, and actually, Ian, you were absolutely right about that. They should have just backed out of the countries because uh, I'm just seeing another article apparently that uh, Jeff Taylor, the head of the BPI, the UK's RIAA, is now saying that Google's oh, no. acqu acquiescence to the right for, to forgotten has proven that, of course, Google could have done could have done. And it should be doing more to fight piracy. Oh no! Like pulling down torrent sites, sure. and things like that. So of course, it's it's the, this. They've opened the door. Mm, scary Oops. stuff. This may be the beginning of the end. I mean, if uh, yeah, if this Google. if this spreads in other countries, maybe it'll just stay at the U, uh, the EU. This level, could be the beginning of the end of the internet if that if this trend continues. No, oh, come on, the internet's not going to go away. Uh, it, I, I mean, trust they in have the too cozy of a relationship with the NSA. Uh, back in May, the documents were released that they they're basically in you know in cahoots with the NSA with really? fake servers. And oh yeah, and the likes. Um, uh, May 6th, uh, this, uh, uh, Greenwald released a document that just showed uh, emails talking about the CEOs meeting in mm. private NSA meetings with Apple, Microsoft, and other big tech companies. And they sat down and they talked about how what backdoors they were going to leak and what things they were wow. going to censor. So it's been going on for a while. Brian, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. If you didn't get in tonight, just call us tomorrow right at the beginning of the show, 7 o'clock at night Eastern time. Yes, unlike other talk shows, you can actually continue a topic on to another night here on Free Talk Live. If you didn't get your thoughts out, we'll have time for you tomorrow online. In the meantime, you can join us at freetalklive.com. When 16-year-old Jeffrey Patterson died in a car accident in February, he didn't just leave behind grieving friends and family, he also left a significant web presence. In a tribute to their son, Jeff's parents have continued to update their son's blogs and social media sites, including a blog called Shitbirds, Shitbirds Everywhere. Well, Jeff used his blog to make fun of stupid shitbirds. Yeah. And now that we're doing this, it's like part of him is still alive. Yeah, and then when I post a picture of some shitbird who has a stupid ankle tattoo or wears some retarded hat, I feel like somewhere he's smiling. He hated retarded hats so much. Whenever we get a comment calling Jeff a dumb fag for making fun of a handicapped person on a rascal scooter, well, it's like he's still here. <laughs> uh, Jeff would have gotten such a kick out of that fat shit bird. He really would have. This is the Onion News Network. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,313, silver opened at $20.92. And Bitcoin is trading at $651.67. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs. Online, affordablesound.com. 
or call them up at 512-459-5253. In the news, the Department of Homeland Security announced Wednesday the security will be amped up at overseas airports with direct flights to the United States. While officials failed to identify specifically which airports will be affected or the exact reason, some reports allege the Obama administration is pushing for increased security precautions at European airports because of rising concerns that al-Qaeda operatives in Syria and Yemen have teamed up to develop bombs capable of being smuggled onto planes. California citizens are upset and taking action over the thousands of undocumented migrants being shipped from South Texas into parts of San Diego. American flag-waving protesters in Marietta, a community south of Los Angeles, prevented Homeland Security buses carrying migrant children and families from reaching a suburban processing center this week. The buses were forced to reroute to a freeway, which took them to a Customs and Border Patrol facility located in San Diego, within view of the Mexican border. Murrieta's mayor, pro tem, Terry Ramos, said he expects to see protests every time there's a bus on the track. U.S. District Judge Reggie Walton has ordered the IRS to explain why an outside expert should not be sent in to evaluate whether emails were really lost due to a computer crash. Recently, the IRS alleged that a mysterious crash of the hard drives irretrievably destroyed nearly two years' worth of emails between Lois Lerner and others in federal agencies and the White House. TrueVote, a House-based conservative nonprofit at the center of IRS targeting during the 2010 and 2012 campaigns, wants a digital forensics expert from outside the IRS to assess the evidence. IRS attorneys are expected in court July 11th to defend the federal tax agency. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show. Live Friday nights, 9 o'clock Central at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Many cities throughout Oregon and some parts of Georgia are giving motorists that are suspected of driving under the influence two options, either submit to a breathalyzer or lose your driver's license for a year. That report from Police State USA. Based on the inconsistencies of breath tests, including false positives, many argue that citizens should not be forced to prove their innocence or provide police with self-incriminating evidence. Judges in Oregon have teamed up with police to sign warrants on demand for forcible blood draws, which are expected to be carried out in abundance this 4th of July weekend under the No Refusal Program. A study published in the Public Health Report reveals that driving fatalities due to being under the influence of prescription drugs rather than alcohol are claiming more lives than ever before. Today, mind-altering psychotropic drugs like Zoloft, Xanax, or Lexapro are causing more automobile deaths than alcohol. A large number of fatal crashes came from prescription drug users who were 50 years of age or older. The Supreme Court has ruled that lawsuits by victims' families and survivors of the September 11th attacks can move forward. However, relatives of Osama bin Laden and Saudi businesses suspected of supporting the attacks will not be included. The high court decided not to review a previous ruling that dismissed lawsuits against 25 defendants connected to al-Qaeda. In 2005, Judicial Watch revealed FBI documents detailing how wealthy Saudi citizens, including relatives of Osama bin Laden, flew out of the United States in the days following September 11, 2001, at a time when most flights were grounded. Support for Liberty Beat comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill, who has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock on 1370 AM in Austin. That's 1370 AM Sunday afternoon at 4. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Online, CaboBobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. According to a groundbreaking new study published Thursday in the New England Journal of Medicine, psychologists have discovered that the average person, while ostensibly appearing to be normal and mentally sound in their day-to-day -day lives, immediately becomes a deranged psychotic when alone at home. We observed hundreds of subjects with successful careers, numerous friends, and loving families perfectly normal. But as soon as they were at their homes by themselves, they began presenting behavior consistent with those 